Yo, 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 what's up, everyone? What's up, what's up, what's up? It is Tuesday night, so you know what time it is. It's time for the Paranormal Narcast, uh, right here on the Nartapes Network. Um, if you're just joining us, thank you, thank you, thank you a million times. Um, Duffy, um, our co-host, isn't going to make it, I don't think. If he's feeling up to it, he'll probably um, chime in. But um, it just seems like he, um, he had to go to the... Uh, the doctor again, so um, he might not be feeling up to it, but it's okay. We got a great episode uh, sorted out for you guys. Let me move this closer to my mouth. There you go. Um, what's up? If you're watching, say what's up in the chats. Um, say hi. Spank that motherfucking like button. Um, subscribe to the channel. Leave those notifications. So that way you know when we're going live, because most of our uh, most of our shows are live streaming. And um, please go to the website, nartapes.com slash GTG. How's everyone's night? How you doing? What's up? Where's everyone at? Where are my people at? Let me grab my chair too. I'm popping in and out. Cool. And, um, oh, Duffy. Duffy just texted me. Is he going to pop in? No. He's done. Yeah. Scooch over a little bit, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, do your thing, Duffy man. You gonna lay down? He's gonna lay down and stuff, I think. All right. All right, guys. Well, um, it is Tuesday, Paranormal Narcast time. How you doing? Hi, hi, hi. Let me um. You have the Twitch up? Do we have anyone up on up on the Twitch there? And um, yeah. What's up? How's everyone doing tonight? I am doing great. Let me see what's up going up on the Twitch. We got two on the Twitch. Very beautiful. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Today, we're talking about mind control. Um, and not like, um, you know, this uh, magical type of mind control that a lot of people think think exists, but an actual real deal thing that hap that's hap that more like conditioned, conditioned brainwashed. Con conditioned, um, conditioned mentalities. For um, the masses and for people of um, high stature and people of, um, you know, fame and, and, and um, influence. Okay. So we're going to be talking about a bunch of cool stuff like that. Um, we're going to get into MK Ultra a little bit. Um, we're going to get into some MK Ultra Ill Illuminati celebrity type stuff. And, um, you know, it's crazy um, when you know, I, I had a... I had a uh, I had a certain way I thought about mind control, and it was pretty like I wasn't sure um, really what the whole deal was. But watching a bunch of videos today, and doing a little bit of research, it's it's not just like this crazy thing that happens to crazy celebrities. They did do research on mind control, like that's yeah. A fact. Oh no, yeah, it's it. That's what I'm saying. It's a fact, and and brought mind control as a broad term for controlling. You know, not just your mind, but controlling thought, be thought, thought behaviors. behaviors. You know, keeping people in check, and they do this to us. They do. Everyone is conditioned. If you live in like Western society or any type of society, you know, where where, where there's a group of of leaders who who need to control a population. You know, there's definitely tactics and certain conditioning elements that they use to keep people in check. And we'll get into all of that in just a little bit. Carly G says, hello, babies. Hello, mommy. How are you today, mommy? Um, how's it going up there in Canada? It's been rain. It was raining today here in Los Angeles, believe it or not. Um, but what can you do? Cleaned up, cleaned up the air, the, the, the sky, the air quality was really clean today. Um, it was clear. Never really do you see that here in Los Angeles. It's usually um, the sky is filled with smog and there's a thick haze that you can't really see. So, thick haze. haze. I've been in the sky. Uh, Just W is here. What's up, Just W? Forget about mass vanishing. Um, the bees last week. Forgot about mass vanishing. The bees last week. The bees last week. Did the bees vanish? Is that what happened? Forgot about mass vanishing. The bees last week. I didn't know um, the bees disappeared. That there's seems. News that they just weren't here last week and they missed out on mass vanishing. Uh, uh. Carly G says all the snow is gone. Finally, very good. That's good to hear. Uh, I'm, it's it's coming on March and I'm sure everyone is tired of, of the, the snow. snow. So there you go. 
Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, spank that like button. Hit the subscribe. Go to the website, nartapes.com slash GTG. Forgot about the bees banishing. Yeah. It, that seems to be like, that happens every once in a while, like every couple of years now, where like a bunch of bees just die or vanish or something crazy. It's crazy happens. We need the bees. That's the crazy thing. We need them. Well, that's not crazy keep, at all. That's, keep, that's the most natural thing in their They keep our world going. Um, and BDG's here says, oh, hey there, boss. All right. Um, Funkle. Voice. Hey there, boys. 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 I'll just look it down here. It's closer to my face. <laughs> All right, I'm a Funkle. Can you roll that uh, wonderful intro you you got queued up? Cool. Thank you guys. One more time with the website. Spank it. Do you see that? Spank it, spank it, bank, bank, bank. All right, guys. So what's up? What's up in the chats? What do you guys know about Mind Control and or MK Ultra, the CIA government-run program for, um, you know, researching, being able to uh, manipulate the human mind into making it believe what you want it to believe. Well, MK Ultra is... A real thing that really happened. It happened. And Actually it happened. They say the thing that they say it is that they stopped doing it, mm -hmm. which sounds like bullshit because <laughs> most of the people they had doing MK Ultra were freelance art, uh, freelance scientists anyway. Yeah, and those fools were all getting onto something, and that shit. It's like it's like goes into the Montauk shit mm -hmm. and like the Stranger Things shit. So they were trying to like use LSD to. Like tap untapped potential telekinetic potential or whatever of people's minds. Yes. Being able to open portals, uh, to throw things against the wall, that kind of stuff, like you'd see in Stranger Things. Yeah, totally. And um, you know, and also using it as a way to um, you know brainwash people into um, confessing for confessing things that they didn't do. That was kind of on paper. You know, in the class, in the in the um, declassified papers, that was kind of their main thing. But of course, you know, they're not gonna put down on paper all the fucked up shit that they're really doing. You know what I mean? No, like um, taking people's babies off the street. Yeah, and they, making them turn, trying to turn them into psychic warriors. There's that. You know, they they would pick up, they would use prostitutes and brothels to to kidnap people and experiment these techniques of using using LSD among other um, other psychotic drugs. To uh, manipulate people's minds, you know, and, and getting people to do the bidding of, you know, the CIA, the Illuminati, whatever, whoever, whoever it is that's doing the controlling. We still don't know um, anything about that. Chase says, yeah, yo, 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 what up? I find it interesting how LSD, what up, Chase, by the way, good to see you, buddy. Uh, he says, I find it interesting how LSD has not only been used with the MK Ultra program, but also by religious groups to brainwash their followers. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird, uh, it's a weird, powerful drug in that way because it's not necessarily. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can think about it. You know, like because it could be that LSD and DMT and these drugs link you into another realm, mm -hmm. and the, somehow there, when you're on LSD, that somehow because you're connected to it, they somehow can harness that power in some way. Or it could just be that the the extremes of LSD cause mechanisms in the brain that are dormant to start working because the brain is working at such an extreme pace. So, you know, which is probably more of the realistic thing. Yeah. Is that they're unlocking these brain muscles by 
using them so much with LSD that, and like things like that that are like powerful trippy brain mm-hmm. muscles and like you trying to get them to be used in that way. Also, also scientists using it in like an evil way to to give someone some psychic trauma, some uh, mental trauma to break them down so they can then That's mold the their way, mind yeah. into back what, into, a back thing, into yeah. whatever it is the agenda is. Um, and That's this is real. This, I mean, this yeah. is this isn't conspiracy theory stuff. This, this is, is real stuff. Th- it's conspiracy. It's real. It happened. Um, so real people conspired together to make this happen. Bit large groups, millions and millions of dollars went into um, the funding for the research of MK Ultra. So and... people need to know the difference between conspiracy and a conspiracy theory. Yes, because a conspiracy is where we we conspired to make this show happen. And the it, show is a conspiracy. Yeah. But, but um, a conspiracy theory is like a theory about what you think that some people got together to do something. Conspiracy theory is a very you're just eluding weird, to, yeah, it's a, it's a weird term. It's too. it's theory, it's hypothesis, it's you're just guessing that this ha- you're you're putting outside clues together to to form um, a, a basis of something that there's no real evidence for. Or and it's also when he's like, he's like this conspiracy theory. It's like you hear about this crazy, crazy man, man, the wacky story. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, hear, he, yeah, he wallops you with a big ham. Yeah, it's like okay, like people, yeah, when they, you're out they late automatically too, just just this uh, throw it aside when they hear that uh, it's a theory. But mm-hmm. you know, shit, everything's a fucking theory. So you know, but this is not a theory. This is real. People in our own government and many governments in the world have. Uh, in one way or another, tested uh, mind control and, and sometimes to very, very extreme uh, oh, yeah. levels. Which oh, is yeah. what I mean, U.S. government is uh, famously known for, infamously known for doing to our own citizens. Mm-hmm. Um, private citizens. Uh, kidnapping. Kidnappings. And, kidnapping uh, kids. Kidnapping adults. They talk about UFOs, alien abductions being a smoke screen for, uh, like, there's some alien abductions, but they're very, very, very rare. And then they took that idea and hyped it out and allowed that to... Uh, to uh, cover for real abductions the government is doing to real people mm-hmm. and taking them away and uh, erasing their brain, erasing their memories after the experiment's done and putting them back. And, uh, you know. It's true. And, and you know, it, it's crazy. The, the, this goes, this whole idea of mind control goes back to um, the first society, you know. And so this, we're not just going to go into the MKL, so we're going to go into, like, how people in power have been molding the subjects' minds over the years to keep them in control. Little tactics, tactics like that, mm-hmm. like religion, is a way to keep people in check. Um, you know, things. That's just one example, but those sort of things, and um, it's just crazy, crazy. Like, and yeah, I mean, you think about mind control too. I mean, like we're talking about mind control on a, on, a, on like a systematic scale here, but like mind control is a very simple thing to think about. I mean, think about like he can he can mind control me right now. Well, I mean, even a, a darker one is an abusive like abusive husband and wife situation, where you know you, the the starts off like a nice loving relationship, build this and then break them down in the sand before you know they've totally mind controlled the whole situation and. You know, like, yeah. and it's just people wanting to use that mechanism of p- people power, power, and then power over your own brain, mm-hmm. and then trying to like break through and seeing. Uh, maybe they don't even. They probably don't even need to abduct too many people anymore. Yeah. They probably just figured it out, and now they're just like doing tests and, exactly. like, and like growing, bro- growing gene perfect babies for it. Mm-hmm. And mind control is just like it's a weird term for what it is because it re- what it really is is manipulation. Like you can mind control me right now. You know, you could be like, hey, do you want to go? To uh, uh, Taco Bell or whatever. Now I'm not hungry. It's cool. And then you would say, "Hey, but I'll get you something." And in my mind, I'm like, "Yes, I'll go now because you're gonna get me something." Having that reward, you manipulated the situation in my mind to make it that yes, now I want to go with you because I'm getting something out of it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And so you can my, my control is manipulation e- even at that that it's little tiny, level. Tiny, tiny, tiny level. Yeah, you know, and people do that all the time. Like when you're at when you're at Taco Bell. The um, if it's a good worker there, they're gonna try and upsell you and manipulate you into getting more or a certain item. You know what I mean? They'll it be... never ever happens to us because we always order for like five people. So yeah, like, they, you they, don't want. They don't want to make. They anything. don't want to make more. They don't want to make anything. Um, but but you know what I mean? It's like if you get the meal with the soda, it'll cost you know fifty cents less. Like oh, okay, that Carly makes... G says I spent some time in mental hospitals and it's creepy. As much as it's helpful and necessary, I also have often wondered how much they use me- use mental health care to study people for bigger reasons. Uh, yeah, that, that, you know, I think that that stuff is definitely going on. Uh, they, you know, they are obviously keeping research for 
all kinds of reasons. You have to imagine that, you know, they sell off data to all kinds of other weirdos too. Yeah, it's not just computer data. It's like people, doctor, yeah. medical data. Wheelie says, "Oh yeah, no doubt they have been done against people in the USA before, Carly G. It has been before, yeah." Oh, you know how today I was uh, speaking of a conspiracy. Uh, I conspired with myself to do a dab this morning, and I have a new dab rig, thanks to Now Glass out of uh, <coughs> out of De- out of Dallas Fort Worth, Texas area. Thank you, Spencer, for blowing me. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, blowing me a new uh, <laughs> glass rig, and uh, and uh, I, today I was hitting it, and I think it was a little too hot, and a piece of dab. Sp- Boiled and splattered into my eye. Damn, that is fucked up. And my eye has been hurting all day. All right, we got some chats in, and chats in the Twitch. Mike says, uh, "Are Doritos a form of mind control?" Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they got high fructose corn sugar, corn syrup in yeah. there, and sugars, and that is definitely a way to control people, um, physically, biologically. Chadley, is that what that says? Yeah, Chad, uh, are we into poll at all? Do you read poll? I don't know. I don't know poll, so no. No. Enlighten us. I would like uh, to know what you're talking about. Carly says, at the very least, for the pharma companies, so they can use that info to make more money off people. Exactly. Yeah. And the pharma people, and they're almost worse than like the government. The pharma people and the lumber people and the coal people all get together to to try to keep marijuana down, so they can <laughs> keep true. the shitty coal and the shitty paper and keep hemp down, and also keep marijuana down and CBD down, so they can keep giving people their bullshit pills that don't work. They don't work for anything you need. They just they just subside the symptoms. They don't they don't fix or cure anything. Two uh, things I was reading this article about two things that uh, it's the two studies that people were saying was going to happen when mar- if people med- uh, legalized marijuana. On one hand, people were going to say that more teenagers were going to smoke weed now that there's that legal marijuana. That's not true. Kids are still smoking the exact same pretty much. It's yeah. not a weed. They were already smoking it. Before, yeah, and then I, the, and then the other kids are too, too cool for it now, so it's pretty much the same. And then also the other, on the other hand, marijuana advocates were like, "Well, it's gonna decrease opiate addiction," but that didn't happen either. Everybody's still popping pills, so that's already just a bad thing. Because you know what, the damage is done. You give somebody a bunch of fucking painkillers, you make it all done, done out with a body buzz on a couch all goddamn day. Uh, then you do the same thing with weed. It's just not going to hit the hard, as hard as yeah. the pill. Yeah, and which and which of all the addictions are one of the hardest you. one? Opiate opioid addictions, you know. And so getting people off these pills, of course, that shit ain't going to work, man. Charlie's a politics sub forum on 4chan. Events are commonly foreshadowed and are predicted there. Oh wow, that's interesting. Ah, I would like to check that. Oh out. yeah, a bit of Duffy. We're uh, on today. Duffy, uh, our usual co-host. Uh, he uh, he's probably on the know of that, but he's uh, laying in bed right now with a uh, he's having um, some sort of infection infection on his hand. Yeah, it's not good. Um, but yeah, thank you, um, Chadley. Chase says Henry Ford made a goddamn car made out of weed. That's so sick. That is pretty cool. Highway to fucking hell. Henry Ford, man. Um, but yeah, so um, we're talking mind control and um, all sorts of um, all sorts of crazy shit. It's like it's just like. Control. It's in the. It's in the. It's in the title. You know? Roseanne Barr, is an outspoken advocate against uh, MK Ultra in Hollywood. Yeah, it's true. She's. Uh, she's, she's been she's talking under, about she's it. She's under the uh, the thought that uh, things like Britney Spears uh, shaving her head and freaking out is mm-hmm. her trying to break out of her mind control programming. Mm-hmm. And then they have to recalibrate her shit, it's and tr- and then they they use uh, mind control in Hollywood to. Uh, <coughs> keep uh, celebrities uh, towards the one common agenda. Yeah, exactly. That's a, that's the theory. And they all, the theory that that is a theory. That yeah. is a conspiracy theory. Roseanne's but, theory goes deeper. Roseanne and that's Roseanne's trip for the most part. I'm, I'm either I don't know what exactly she her her trip is, but 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 having the ability to control these minds that that's for real. Like they they they've documented. I believe Hollywood that. creepy Hollywood assholes for sure. They eat people and shit. Yeah, they all have these um, handlers. They all, if, if you're, um, you know, at a certain level, you have a handler and that's the person that like, you know, programs you, keeps your shit in check, you know, make sure you're not like busting out of your character too hard. It's crazy, man. Like Carly yeah. G says she ran for president. Did she last, last time? I feel like she, at some point she did. Yeah. And now what it's going to be this year, it's going to be like Obama and Oprah. Or not Obama. I mean, uh, the rock, the rock and Oprah. 
That's like who's gonna be running for like the Democratic. That shit's seat. like the stupidest thing ever. Now it's just all oh, just gonna be presidential celebrities. Yeah, now. well that's the funny thing. It's like oh, if if Oprah and The Rock run um, Democrat, then everyone's gonna be all stoked. But it's like. Dude, y'all were talking shit about the last celebrity one. Like, what makes this any fucking different? Oh, they're all dumb. So. Yeah. yeah. They're all MK ultra out, man. They're not yeah. even there. That's, yeah, like, the, the thing. The real rock and Jack White and Beyonce are all in a moon prison somewhere, and they're fucking reptilian doppelganger is the one down Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's another one of the ones that can go deeper. They clone They clone them. Sometimes they clone them. Uh, Jiggle says, hell yeah, three days in a row, NAR streams, can't wait, word up. Very good. Very good. Our streams can't wait. Oh, humans here too. What's up, human? Good to see you in the chats. Human. Very, very good. How is everyone doing tonight? We're talking mind control. We're back to our regular streaming schedule now. We're back to uh, every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or just at least back to weekly. So every Sunday is our cooking show, getting fat with skinny Jesus. Which uh, this week, Isaac did sushi and JoJo's. Yeah. Which was a post birthday one for me. It was my birthday weekend, and it was one of the best of my life. Hey, Tanyati! What's up, Tanyati? And then every Monday, we do Narioki, which we did last night. Uh, and every Tuesday, now we do the Paranormal Narcast, which is our uh, discussion show about the paranormal. Uh, usually, we have our friend Duffy as a co host, but he is sick in bed right now. And uh, every Wednesday is our Tuesday Night Live. And uh, n tomorrow night, you're going to have to tune in to find out what our special uh, theme of the show is. I think you will be pleasantly <coughs> surprised. Uh, all, all, all I'm going to say is that you should bring your swimming trunks. That's all I'll say. Uh, human says, hey, Christina. What up, Tanya? He says, hi, Human. So also, guys, please go to the website, nartapes.com slash GTG. Shoot us a donation. Uh, buy a t-shirt, buy a record, buy a, uh, a pin, the White Fang pins, a, uh, the, the Nartapes pin. Uh, you can save 10% by using the code GTG. This is a uh, totally uh, crowd-supported uh, show. It's We don't have any sponsors or anything. It's all you guys. So, you know, support us. Show us that you care. Show us that this is something you like to watch and that uh, you believe in the Nartapes network. Uh, and if you know, time's tough. Time's tough for everybody. So the least you can do is hit the like button, uh, and it, or, or the dislike button if that's your jazz. You know, you feel like this is some stupid shit. That's fine by us. Uh, but anyway, you know, we're just talking about mind control on our weekly paranormal narcast. This is where we're starting to you know branch into more of the less paranormal, m more conspiracy, but also hits a lot of paranormal things like psychic abilities. Um, government UFO connections these kind of things and also you uh, kind of uh, okay oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> I think it's right it looks right oh yeah Isaac and Ricky that is correct yes. it looks right sorry we're both reading your long ass comment there yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting stoned too. Yes, yes. <laughs> that was right. Um, hell yeah, everyone's showing some love. Leo and Venice is here. What's up? Are cats aliens? Possibly. Uh, yeah, and there's definitely talks about that for sure. Uh, apparently they say that uh, gray aliens are scared of cats. That's why the, um, the ancient Egyptians maybe revered cats in that way. Because everyone was scared of those fools a little bit, you know? Yeah. Cats are scarier than dogs to me. Like, yeah, hell yeah. Like Cats a dog are... can tell you when it's pissed. Pretty yeah. much. Actually, some dogs will just bite you out of nowhere. But yeah. the cat's, cats, like, scary. Cats have an agenda. Like, they they plot and stuff. You can tell. They're, like, they're planning to fuck you up. And, like, dogs be <laughs> But that cat's like... <laughs> 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 Human says, I thought they mind controlled y'all for a second there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. That would definitely be something that would happen. Like a, oh. There is no such thing as mind control. <laughs> you do not need to donate to the Nartapes Network. These guys are losers. <laughs> All right, so let's go into like the basic forms of um, mind control, and then we'll go into our first video. There's three main forms. There's um, mind control on the cognitive level, meaning, um, you know, um, has to do with that. There's the unconscious, 
below the surface in your mind and then there's a biological basically you know being controlled with a pill LSD um, physical shock therapy things of that nature um, and so to, to start with the cognitive level you know a, a good example of this is um, you know using ideological indoctrination meaning um, you know growing up with a certain political view a, a scientific view or religious view that's a way um, you know people can control um, the masses um, with these ideals that they instill in them and an educational view which uh, the, the video I watched earlier had a really good um, you know example uh, of this so when you get a driver's license you have to learn all the rules of driving on the road and and they when you when you study all the rules they make it seem like this is the way it is and any other way is bad you know and it's it's all based around safety and it's good that it's that way but inherently it makes you think like okay now there's a wrong way to drive where we're really like you should just drive you know but to keep things safe they do that and so that's like a little way that like the government can manipulate you into into following the line because uh, it's say it, it is in the best interest of everyone to have these rules but like the way it, it's like a sly way of, of making you fall in line you know oh we did we made a sale oh, oh there yeah. you go thank you chase um hey and so you know, a really interesting way that cities control your mind there's actually some pretty interesting little comps you can watch this is look up you can just look up <coughs> ways that cities control your you without you knowing it tell boone's here too hey boone boone yeah, uh, what were you saying? I'm, I'm interested like, in that. Like, how they put benches at a certain slope in some cities where you can't sit. They don't want you to linger for too long. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How they put spikes down on certain stuff to keep homeless people from laying down there. Mm -hmm. That's control. That's mm -hmm. like that's an almost, that's almost beyond mind control. Mm -hmm. That's like physical control. Yeah. There's uh, And there's all other little ways that they do that, like different colors they use, yeah. architecture they use, uh, that cities purposely use in order to keep people... Moving, keep them like from lingering too many to work too much in a crowd and outdoors. These kinds of things. The same thing how they use like certain smells and air conditioners yeah, and that. sounds inside of malls and grocery stores or community or superstores. You know, it's a uh, there's these are all little ways that they use mind control. They they manipulate your senses and um, you know steer you in the direction that they want to go. A part of this cognitive level of uh, mind control as well. Is propaganda so you know um, the Russian thing where they're um, you know talking about in every form of media that we're the best and USA is the worst that's a form of mind control right there mm -hmm. when you have when you have your provider your 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 leader saying all these things you know you you, you almost have no choice but to um, think about this to buy right? into the propaganda Chadley saying right here on Twitch the domestication of canines fascinating topic Think about it. Thousands of years ago, they may have served as mankind's first alarm system, hunting weapon, and animal friend. Dude, you talk about this all the time because, like, you'll see like a chihuahua or something. You're like, man, look what they did to that poor wolf. That yeah. used to be a wolf. Yeah, you That's know, true. it's like, <laughs> and it's like they don't really know exactly when. And it's humans and dogs have mind control each other over the years. Like humans and yeah. dogs. Even when humans and dogs meet in the wild, there's thousands of years of instinct that's kicking into our brains as we run into each other, being like vibing each other, and we're more likely to check each other out than say us in like a bear or something like or us in like a, a whale or mm -hmm. a shark I guess do and even a dog will be more like a lot of animals will run away from you but you can eventually get a dog to come over to you yeah you know what I mean like, exactly because dogs are, are somewhere deep down inside it's like humans are the homie kinda you know what I mean like and it's true like uh like uh dogs and cats they say they, used to, they think they used to come from way way back in uh in our like crop fields and they would hunt down the mice mm. and eventually we started like did the mice start coming or yeah. did, they, did they start coming to take the mice or did we start like keeping them try to keep them there and then that's how we became friends or did they form up to us or did we try to get to coax them into yeah it? Like, you know and it's one of these things where, where species evolve together to become you know to become kind of codependent on each other yeah Advertising mind control exactly. Yes, it's totally, that... totally not the happiest place on earth. What did you say? Uh... Anti homeless architecture and city planning is yeah. fucked up. Yeah, Ayn Rand bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tablin says yes. When I was homeless, I could find a bench to sleep in. Now all the benches are messed up with the borders in the middle. Yeah, they'll have like the armrest in the middle of the bench. They have that shit all over LA. You guys, you can't lay down in it. <clears throat> um, Chase says this guy hacking your brain twenty four seven nineteen eighty two. Um, yeah, so so there you go. You know, 
Um, cities, th this form of cognitive uh, mind control is, you know, mostly used by, by cities, political officials, um, on, a, on a major, broad, broad scale. The next level we do is the unconscious um, or behavioral type of mind control, meaning, um, you know, controlling people without their um, decision, i.e. subliminal messages, stimulus response type um, procedures where they'll take people and they'll do the whole Pavlov's dog thing where the bell, they equate the bell to food when really the bell and food have nothing to do yeah. with each other. It's also like that movie, They Live, where when he puts the sunglasses on, you can see all the advertisements just say sleep, marry, yeah. obey. But then, you know, that, that, that that's a metaphor for a, the hidden messages behind totally. advertising, you know. Totally. And public relations and marketing and advertisement go into this sort of... Um, behavioral and unconscious mind control. Um, you could also put hypnotism into this this category. The same with um, you know conditioning with the with the Pavlov dog associating pain or pleasure with a certain um, trigger for desired results. Brainwashing also falls into this category where you where you totally you know destroy a person's whole mental psyche and then um, from there you can build it up to whatever whatever the agenda the agenda is that you're trying to promote and then with deprogramming it's kind of the opposite where someone would come in you know from a cult or something and they or a religious you know that that is that got sucked up by the religion and they're trying to like bring them back to reality it's like the opposite of brainwashing and so those are some some types of ways that um you know they they can control us um unconsciously the public relations and advertising thing is like the biggest is the biggest one if you go back to if you go back to like uh, the 20s and 30s with the uh, with you know when when print ads were getting really really popular radio ads were getting popular you know um, the big new industry was like the hygiene industry you know like in the 1800s and like turn of the century it wasn't like everyone had all these products for their um, for their for their hygiene you know like all these deodorants but with with the advent of, of advertising they realized that they can still certain certain things in people's minds to attract them toward their product, you know, and so there, they would say, what? Uh, John Daddy said there was an article a while back about this woman who trained her husband to get hard every time she put her hair in a ponytail, because she'd always do that before she <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's, some, that's something that, like, you could do unconsciously, too, you know, that, that, that could just happen one yeah. day, where your boyfriend, anytime, if you're driving the car now... She puts the ponytail on like he's gonna get all hard. Chadley because... says entire echoing or echoing prior sentiments in chat. Taco Bell mind control. Yeah. Why is there a sauce that's less hot than fire sauce with a name like Diablo <laughs> sauce? That's pretty good. It's Diablo's true. not that spicy. Also, what did uh, we, what did we leave together? Let's like seven. Seven ten was what it was. So I'm gonna I'm gonna, gonna say a dab. dab. I'm gonna I'm say down dab. I'm gonna dab rig. Yeah. You wanna grab the grab the stuff over yeah, there? Where is it over there? Drip. Guys, if you says if you guys are seeing drips, it's because the ceiling is dripping, guys. It's crazy, like. Oh, uh, it was just a donation, seven ten donation, but we'll do a dab for it for sure. Put it on the table, anyways. Let's put it. We got a new dab rig, uh, guys, from Fifty Spence down in uh, Texas, uh, which is great because I broke mine uh, on my birthday. My other one, he made me <laughs> on my birthday, <laughs> and then he got mine <coughs> to me. This new one. But yeah, anyway, what were you saying? Um, we yeah. About Diablo sauce and, uh, uh, yeah. So that's, um, what we were just talking about was, like, the different ways of unconscious ways to control people's mind. And then the last, the last way people do it, um, is bio biological, which is, like, taking the LSE, the MK yeah. thing. That's uh, Dwinkle says, whenever the national anthem came on throughout my high school times, I'd get hard as a diamond. Hard <laughs> as a diamond. I'm that's using that. I love that. Wheatley says, hell yeah. Out says, Extina Tanyadi. Out of Outjazz. Is it in the other one? Uh, oh, yeah, maybe, huh? Sartoris says, hey -o. And I'm Sartoris. Uh, Carly G says, I used to get in trouble a lot for refusing to stand up for National Anthem. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do that. Uh, I, I would just sit there. I wouldn't. After a while. I, I think it was like junior year I stopped standing up. But I was in Oregon, so I don't think they gave as much of a shit. Uh, Sartoris is awake again. That's great. Welcome, Sartoris. Uh, Christina Tanyari says, Hey, ouches. Carly G says, I watched all the Zeitgeist documentaries in high school, so I was angsty about it. Hell yeah. Human says, Whenever Nartave's network goes live, I get hard as diamonds. <laughs> you find it? Yeah. So, uh, we're about to do a dab right now because 
Chase gave us a donation of 710 because I think he was inspired and uh, aroused by my speech about how Nartapes is totally funded by you guys and if you guys really appreciate us, show us some love because this does take hours out of our time and it's not free and nobody pays us except for you guys. And I know when you guys, you guys are all broke too or, you know, everybody's got bills. Me, you're not broke, but you got shit you got to pay for. But just realize, you know, you, when you guys give us, you guys, when you guys buy a record or a t-shirt or you shoot us a donation to even just do a dab or something like that it really is helping us out because it's going straight to us and we're and it's all we're, you're the only ones hooking us up so you know that's how this fucking network keeps going that's how we're able to make funny themed shows every wednesday and have a cooking show every sunday and a narioki show every monday and a paranormal show every tuesday a paranormal show so Show us a little love. It ain't got to be a lot. But just hit up the website. Maybe buy a tape you don't have already or buy a friend a tape. Maybe they'll get into our tapes and come over here and start joining every week too. Or maybe just hit us up on the fucking just the donate button and have, say do a dab or spank a, plank yourself or something. It doesn't matter to me. Anyway, <laughs> to show a little love. This is uh, this real people. Yeah, we're, we're real people out here. I'll, uh, we have beers. I'll shock in a beer if someone wants to see that. Do some stuff like that. Let's go to the website, nartapes.com slash jtape. J. Ouches Von Doom says, Is Isaac talking about MK Ultra? Yes, we're talking MK Ultra and spe- not that specific, not just That's that specifically. That's going to be a, a one of our main reference but points. But that will be the main reference point because um, it is a, you know, it is a crazy program that they say they um, they stop doing research on, but who the fuck knows? Really, I don't believe what, they stop shit. I don't believe they, I don't stop shit. So I think, um, Fungal, could you get the first video um, queued up, and then we'll get into that in just a moment? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do this dab here. So we got a sweet, sweet new rig here. Let's take a look at it. It's got a cool little, hold, look at that, holding little. It's got, like, arms. Or, like, it's like a teapot. Or, like, a coffee cup. It has, like, arms. It's sick. Plant Builder Builder says, if my control did not exist, it would be necessary for man to invent it, Voltaire. Well, it's always it's always existed. Well, my control does exist. <clears throat> so Trish says, thanks for that free weed email, Isaac. I, the discography. The old discographies? Yeah. Nice. Drangle yeah. says, in love with that rig. So Trish is so happy I got all that. I'm glad you got it too. Ooh. We got everybody's, uh, we're going to do that again tomorrow. We're going to have the last round of getting all the discographies, and after that it'll be you get a free album per strike out download. But you can still get, on Wednesday tomorrow, you get free, uh, free discography. Uh, Chadley says, um, I have seen firsthand what MK Ultra does. I have studied it extensively. Amanda Bynes, Brendan Fraser, John Travolta. Yeah, the list goes on. Um... Justin Bieber, Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, Tom Cruise, any, it's like, you know, any, everyone, everyone that, that is in that public spotlight and has a, an, an influence over a mass amount of people, they get these fools um, working for the agenda, man, and it's crazy. Um, Al just says, Isaac, can you look up Operation Mockingbird? Yeah, I'll look that up right now. Operation Mockingbird. Uh, Carly G says, oh yeah, Isaac, I only got one of them. Uncle Funkle, I didn't get the fear. Alright, I'll get that over to you. Sorry, Carly. Um, but I should have sent everyone else's out. Sean Mang says, cheers, got myself some Coors Light. <laughs> and Tapa Tio Doritos over here. Hell yeah, that's it's tight. Sean Mang. Sean Mang was at our show on Sean Saturday Mang. on my birthday. Yeah, good. it was good to see you out there, man. I think you were wearing a Phoenix Suns hat. Um, and, um, you came, and it was a super good time. Leo fun. says, I'm broke and broken. But I made you guys a weird video if you want to play. It has conspiracy themes in it. Cool. Send Email it me up. to nardtapes at gmail.com. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll check it out first. Send it on over. Yeah, Brandon Frazier. Uh, is something weird with that guy for sure. Yeah, something happened. I did read like an article the other day of what happened to him. And it, it now in retrospect, it, it seemed MK it Ultra would be a good would be a good um, cover. So? Well, like in the article, it said like one of his kids has like extreme like. Um, Autism or something, and so there was just he did it. He, he you know he had to do the dad thing. He wanted to do the dad thing. Yeah, right. Um, but that's that's a good you know that's a good cover for um, being controlled by the fucking Illuminati or whoever. I don't know. That's the thing. You don't know. We don't know who's doing it. It's probably just the the record or the. It's Frank. The, it's Frank. Frank's doing it. I knew Frank was doing it all along. What an Brad, asshole. Burglar Brett's doing it. <laughs> um, there you go. Um, can you do the first video, Uncle Funkle? Okay, still starting it out. Um, 
Nice. Sean makes his word. It was a fun time and nice to meet everyone. Yes, big Suns fan. There you go. Big Suns fan. That's cool. Oh, Leo Erickson right here is Leo in Venice. Yes. What is that? He sent me the video here. I'll check that out here in a few minutes. Nice. Beauty. So how long is this? Four minutes? Yeah. This is a pretty um, straight up introductory video to um, if the government is still running an MK Ultra type thing on us, you know? Fucking pieces of shit. Fucking government, man. In 1951, a Swiss pharmaceutical Rango, company so developed 40,000 LSD yes, like tablets. Do that. In the midst of Cold War paranoia, the USA bought the supply uh, immediately, this, this fearing the Russians thing, would buy it first it and spike the US water the supply. This single purchase launched a top-secret CIA operation designated MKUltra. This program tested the effects of LSD and experimented with mind control methods throughout the 50s and 60s. The program was officially shut down in 1973. But has the US government actually stopped practicing mental manipulation? Yeah, Boone says, don't forget me, of course not. MK Ultra first came to light in 1975, when Congress launched an investigation into CIA practices. Although CIA Director Richard Helms had ordered all the operation files to be destroyed, a request under the Freedom of Information Act uncovered 20,000 documents that detailed MKUltra's murky activities. MKUltra's tests took place in at least 80 institutions, including 44 colleges, universities, hospitals, prisons, and pharmaceutical companies. Yep. Private, Participants from 185 private researchers, private researchers were also used. Most test subjects were experimented on without their knowledge. In some cases, heroin addicts were enticed to participate with the promise of being paid in heroin. The ultimate goal was to exert mind control over victims in order to get confessions out of them, or worse. Temple University psychiatry professor Dr. Richard Kluft says the use of hypnotized assassins is plausible and the US government has researched the possibility in the past. The US government's use of unwilling test subjects resurfaced in 1994, when the Senate Committee for Veterans released information about servicemen during World War II who were tricked or forced into mustard gas and lewisite testing. More recently, soldiers during the Gulf War were subject to the Department of Defense's man-break tests. Soldiers would be exposed to chemical weapons to determine what exposure level would kill or break a man. Some believe that government mind control is not limited to the military. Actress Roseanne Barr has been outspoken about entertainers being used as puppets for years. Mm -hmm. When asked about why celebrities don't typically speak out about important political issues, Barr said, It's also a big culture of mind control. MK Ultra mind control rules in Hollywood. Pop sensations Michael Jackson, Britney Spears and Miley Cyrus have all been linked to MK Ultra mind show, control at dude. some point. In 2012, independent news organization Truth Out reported that the US government forced Guantanamo Bay prisoners to take mind-altering drugs. Inmates would be handed sedatives and told that they were candy. Many were subject to routine injections of the drug Haldol, which was developed in the 1960s and is used on psychiatric patients. Side effects include suicidal behavior. Guantanamo Bay detention camp is still open and home to 122 prisoners. In his 2015 State of the Union address, President Barack Obama said his biggest regret was not shutting down the camp back in 2009. Yeah, he sure An executive one, order prohibiting yeah. drug experimentation on human subjects Fuck without consent rollies, was issued in 1976. Fuck the no, order mandated that any test yeah, subject must have a dog. witness from a disinterested party present during the experiment. Other orders were put in place five years later to eliminate any and all human experimentation. However, in June 2015, the Guardian newspaper published a leaked CIA document that permits the director of the CIA to approve, modify, or disapprove all proposals pertaining to human subject research made by the government. Mm -hmm. With the CIA's new ability to essentially set the laws on human experimentation, has America truly seen the last of MKUltra? <laughs> the CIA right. claims that the search review misrepresented. Thank you to, um, uh... <coughs> I have it here somewhere. All-time conspiracies. That was a fun, uh...
That was a fun one. And so that was just like a basic, you know, a little basic, like, what is what is this whole MK Ultra mind control thing that everyone's thinking about? I'll just Von Diem says, Operation Mockingbird is connected to MK Ultra. All right, let me pull that video Chad up. Chadley on Twitch says, Crank and Brews and watching MK Ultra videos. Yep, I found my new favorite stream. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Have a great night. Thanks for the stream. Cheers. You too, Chadley. Thanks, man. Hell yeah, Chadley. Hey, what up, Kimberly? We're doing our weekly uh, paranormal show and uh, trying to flex with some donations out there. Trying to... I'm trying to increase the amount of donations we're getting per show. We used to be able to fucking swing like 100 every night for a while. Um, and we were pretty creative about it. And, you know, I was, I'm was i always trying to get, just get it out there. I got to be that guy. We have lots of cool stuff on the website. I know a lot of you guys haven't actually gotten any of our actual mail orders. It's cool. When you order from us, we package in our store. It's like 10 feet away from here. We have two buildings here in Los Angeles. We have a record store. And, you know, we have cool cassettes and pins and shirts. And we, if you go to our website, a lot of them are way cheaper than you think, too. We have some $5 shirts on there. And the shipping, we have a stamps.com account, so our shipping is about as cheap as you can get without, like, signing, like, a, 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 like a couple-year-long contract with some, like, independent shipping firm yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, uh, So, and, and we, uh, we package mail every single day now. We send out, like, twice a week. Mm-hmm. It's been awesome. So we're pretty quick, quick on it. We're faster than we've ever been. You get your mail orders on time. Uh, so... Take a chance, man. Check out some of our shit. Uh, we're not just a live streaming thing, you know. We're a band, uh, White Fang, and we have another band, The Memories. We all have solo projects. Plus, we run a record label where we put out cool music. You know, we have a uh, tape by Willie Nelson's son, the, the Willie Nelson, his son, Particle Kid, Michael ne- Michael Nelson put out a tape. Uh, lots of cool shit, man. So yeah, I'm just doing. I, I'm just letting you know that we started uh, uh, this music thing, the record label Nar Tapes, ten years ago, and the Nar Tapes network was like two years old. So. Not to mention, if you really vibe with us and you think that what we're doing is crazy cool, we offer a really fun service that you might know about or may not know about called the Royal United Song Service where you can uh, 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 commission us for a custom song. I must uh, correct you because the Royal United Song Service is the first one. We're actually now on the Special Request Song Service Mm. is the name of the service now. Oh, yeah. We should change the product name. Yes, we should. Special Request. Request Song Service. Yes, we should change the image as well. And uh, now it's it's like each round has a different name. Each, and that that first one was the Memories uh, Royal United Song Service, and now this one's the Nartape Special Request Song Service. And at any rate, they're uh, uh, on the site currently labeled as Royal United Song Service uh, erroneously. But you can get a hundred bucks, hundred dollar song, Uncle Funkel, Free Weed, uh, Totally You, Skinny Jesus, The Memories, White Fang. Jerry Rogers, uh, and the Stunners. Oh, yeah. They, they are limited edition right now, $100 until we uh, for the next like month or something. Yeah, uh, so get in your orders if you haven't yet. And uh, all the homies out there who paid for the full price, 250 will be getting surprise little shit anyway. So yeah. Don't, don't, uh, don't trip. You guys will be treated extra special. Um, There's also the... Um if you want to check some of those out, there's the SoundCloud. We now. have the SoundCloud for it now, and, all, and we're getting uh, close to getting caught up with everybody's songs. We're all getting uh, there. Chad, Chadley says, "Y'all put out vinyls." Yes, it's true. Uh, Heman says, "They sure do." Chadley says, "Wow, where'd the teacher of Beavis and Butthead come from all of a sudden?" <laughs> yeah. He went, "Hell yeah!" Nice, he went through the shop the channel one. in there. Thank you, buddy. Uh, so Arthur says, "Guantanamo Baywatch." Chadley says, "Microdosing LSD." Hell yeah, I heard that people definitely do that. Von Doom says, "Operation Mockingbird is connected to MK Ultra." Send us a link. Tanya says, Weird recently did an article on this guy named Amanda Fielding <coughs> who went to who wants to decriminalize LSD and research its potential as a treatment for anxiety, depression, and addiction. Yeah, you know... Uh, um, I really hope that happens. So. Yeah, Albert Hoffman, he went to the grave defending the medicinal... Uh, yeah, he was really upset with the Timothy Leary. Yeah. About the using it uh, the, as a drug culture thing. Uh, he wanted it to be as like a... Re- yeah, the popularization of LSD, which I guess I can, you know... I probably wouldn't have ever got my hands on it if it wasn't for that. Uh, the popularization of it definitely led to the Ill criminal, the criminalization of it, which meant that uh, the guy who discovered it couldn't legally uh, study it anymore. But he has a lot. You can look up all sorts of like uh, test footage and, <sighs> and uh, anecdotal evidence from the trials that they were able to conduct in the time that it was legal. And uh, it seemed to have a pretty... Um, pretty phenomenal impact on people with yeah. depression, anxiety, uh, schizophrenia, yeah. bipolar. Carly G says, what's the what's SoundCloud? You know what it is. She's joking. So our turn says, how many more Brett songs do you need for the album to be done? Well, 
we have I have and Burglar Brett have finished three of the ten songs. There are four more that are been paid for that are waiting to be done. I have like three of those instrumentals already, uh, and Brett's just coming in to do those this week. Uh, so we only need three more uh, commissions, the fifty dollars each, and then Brett's album will be totally spoken for. And it'll be only a matter of time before the album's out. I'm, I'm thinking before, uh, I'm thinking like beginning of spring. His, his tape is out and everything. <laughs> I bet that we can, I want to try to get him and get all the vocals and everything done before we go to, uh, we go to Europe. Maybe before we go to South by. We'll see if we can get him in here and just do it all. Yeah, that'd be yeah. cool. So we'll see. If, yeah, if you guys want to go, there's, there is the button for that uh, Burglar Brett song on there, 50 bucks. Uh, you can hear some of the other Burglar Brett songs. Uh, if you're interested and you want to hear a Burglar Brett song, I can have Funko go in the other room and just play one for you. I just say in the chat if you want yeah. to hear it. Also, I got almost done with our Taurus song and Rocky Pack single player pleasure on my end, and I'll be done with my 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 freeweed songs. Uh, memory songs are, al- are almost done. They're all like just towards the end of getting tweaked. Yeah. Uh, and Fan- the Fan Teddy's Shadow People one is almost done. Uh, we have a cool version of it that'll be his his version uh, that sounds a lot like uh, shit or stay out of my room it's from like I don't give a fuck uh, so I just, if we pay for one of those we uh, 18 mm. bucks from Sean W thank you buddy hell yeah yeah uh, so I just, if we pay for one of those uh, we can influence what it's about for Burglar Brett yeah man to a certain extent Burglar Brett's gonna take it to uh, his own interpretation but yeah you can de- the more you you try to influence it, the more he'll uh, he'll try to stick to it. Yeah, I mean, and that goes for all the uh, all the uh, the other song service um, acts too. You know, mm-hmm. like if you want a totally you song, I'll make it about whatever you you can have. You can make make it about whatever you want, and I'll I'll try my best to follow that. You know what I mean? So there you go. Um, yeah, maybe we could play a couple of those songs from the SoundCloud or or whatever the ones we have on. And um, I would love to hear that Tonetta cover. I haven't heard that one in a while. <laughs> that song was sick. Um, the Dwangle was that Dwangle who who requested that? Yes. The Tonetta cover. Oh, oh hell yes. <clears throat> uh, Sean found a, the song service LP on the website, uh, and uh, I didn't even know it was on there. But we actually found it on there and uh, take it off because I think that was like close to the last one. That's the song service. Mm-hmm. Wow. LP and those were actually like thirty now, but he got it on the website for a special deal. He's the only one getting it for that cheap ever again nice <laughs> good grip dude good fucking grip you went on the website and you looked and you fucking you found it you found the thing you found it I didn't dude. even know that was on there that's a crazy good deal I think that we only have like two more of those left now yeah so the du- that's a double final record that's crazy really good grip he fucking got like half off that's like a yeah that's like a one vinyl record some- yeah. sometimes so there you go. Human says Gunner is one of my faves um, on there. Yeah. Gunner's a good one. Gunner is great. Gunner's about a real dog. And now. Uh, say what? Yeah. Will you actually tr- convert that into uh, a CD uh, sale product button? And the CD's 10. Carly G says, okay, cute. Right, we'll, we'll put the CD for fucking eight. Do eight. Eight bones. Yeah, it's nice CD. Let it be known. But it's a CD. It's really nice, though. It's got a sick booklet, and it has more stuff than the booklet and the LP actually does. It has all the emails. Yeah, it has. <laughs> yeah, there was a mix-up in, the, in, the, in our emails. <laughs> the emails. Uh, Dwangle says Gooner and Girlfriend. Such cute, similar names. Gooner and Girlfriend. Gooner and Girlfriend. Gooner and Girlfriend. See? No, it says Lives. Such similar lives uh, found on the side of the road. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. Girl and friend was found on the side of the parking lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, technically the parking lot's on the side of the road. Uh, Carly says, okay, Cupid is my fave. Or the end of the world. Yeah, end of the world is going to be a White Fang song now. Yeah, we're going to play that yeah. <laughs> as White Fang too. I guess we never played it live as a memory. We never, so. Yeah, we never played it. <laughs> it would be way, actually, it would actually be way sicker as a White Fang. Yeah. Road jammer. Earthquakes underneath my feet yeah, Police sick. killing in the street People dying cause they need something mm, 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 They need mm, mm, something mm, mm, to mm. eat Chemtrails blanketing the sky People argue about why While the banks take all the money And wait for us to die 
Shadow Minx is gonna blow up those emails. <laughs> JK. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy. So, <clears throat> mind control. Speaking of which, <laughs> go mind your control your mind go to mind the website nartapes.com and uh, help us sponsor Burglar Brett. Uh, uh, you want to play uh, uh, the last Burglar Brett track that came out? The uh, the uh, uh, fucking I'm a burglar. Yeah, it's on SoundCloud. It's on, it's on uh, my Freebeat SoundCloud, yeah. yeah I think I'm his producer. Yeah, there you go. You got to put them up. There we go. That's Burglar Brett. Last song we, we recorded. We made that beat while I was in Europe. I, I don't know where. I'm a burglar and I like stealing some shit. It's a reflex, so I'm fucking flexing you, bitch. Wear a ski mask and it's fitting tight on my head. Stealing from your house while you're napping in bed. I like Nintendos, Playstations, laptops too. There's so many things I like taking from you. When you're driving your car, be careful with your pocket, cause I'll snatch it and sell it cheap on the black market. I'm a burglar and these are simple sorts of facts. Relax, I ain't jacking till you hit the road jacks. Yes, I am the burglar one. I'm the Lord of heaven, none, so I do it for fun. It's my lifestyle, and I choose to rob. Burgling to me is like corn on the cob with butter, chili sauce, parmesan cheese with ease. I don't even need the key. Hell yeah, that's what a burglar do. Come to your crib and come kick it with you without you knowing. I'm towing loads of swag. Too much for one trip, too much for one bag. In the city or in the country, shit. I burgle anywhere, I don't worry about it. My family, my friends, my full time job. From all of you, it's my fucking duty to rob. Yeah, you heard of here from Big Burglar Brett. I'm Burglar Brett, you heard that. Yeah. Be doing good in your neighborhood. Ha ha, watch out. I'm a burglar and I fucking love to snatch. Oh, you when I play ball, all I fucking do is catch. It's a thief thing, and you know yeah. it's good. Creeping through your hood, stealing all that I could. It's a crime scene, and the mess is mine. That's like the like, ace of the base, man. I saw the like sign invisible. saying thank you. There's no one home. Now I'm in the house, and I'm all alone. Burglar. And stealing stuff like the human life. I just can't get enough of your possessions. So here's a lesson to keep you guessing. My confession, I ain't afraid of Smith and Wesson. I'm a burglar, so lock it up tight. Or I might visit you tonight, aight? Yeah, so keep it G. Or you might get a burglar rent visit from me. Yeah. There you go. Hell yeah. Very good. You can um, go to the website, nartapes.com slash gtg, and commission a Burglar Brett song today. Yep. Or an Uncle Funkle song. There's only three more available uh, for it to be, to be to have your name in the liner notes uh, of De- Burglar Brett's debut album. Uh, and who knows, maybe his only album. Brett lives a pretty wild life. Yeah, who, who knows what's going to happen to he Brett. He might not even survive before the album comes out. Oh yeah, and preacher now. Yeah, preacher. We have the preacher. <laughs> Preacher's pretty sick. The preacher. Yeah, song. Oh yeah, play the preacher. The preacher song. song's pretty sick. It's pretty. I was pretty wasted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or so. The preacher was pretty wasted. Yeah, the preacher. Uh, <laughs> you gave up the.
You can get a burglar brat. Uh, Cards of the Preacher would do well on SoundCloud. Yeah, well, he's just starting off, so Sartorius has so much swag. Preacher is a pretty hard ass rap name. Yeah, Preacher. Just Preacher? <laughs> preacher. That's pretty sick. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like that. Um, yeah, so go to the website, nartapes.com slash GTG. We have it. What else is on, on that? On the SoundCloud thing? Uh, there's the fungal songs. There's the there's the fungal songs. Shotgun about it, about it. There's oh yeah, a... play that. I don't know if we've ever played that on the show. Which one? The the shotgun in. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we've ever played this one. I think I got a good feeling somebody might get a song service tonight because it's happened on Paranormal before because par- because ma- because cre- crazy shit happens on the Paranormal show. Yeah. <laughs> I believe the, you guys. the the Paranormal show definitely um you know conjures. <laughs> Chadley says predictive programming surrogate activities are another form of mind control. Surrogate activities Crank a case of beer, crack a colon just for fun. I ain't sipping on no beer. I'm a shock until it's done. Cause I'm bout it, bout it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm bout it, bout it. Nartape Network. Crank a case of beer, crack a colon just for fun. Skinny Jesus one, hundred bucks. But you know, we've heard a bunch of these now. When are you guys gonna cough up and get your own? Let's make another <laughs> one. Let's birth a new one. I know there's a few you're still waiting out there. Um and uh but there's not many. We're getting caught up now on all this stuff. Uh Tusty's still waiting on uh, White Fang. Everybody's who got White Fang is still waiting on White Fang one. Yeah. Uh and the memories. But we're, we're getting the, caught up now. And all, almost all that shit has like is got the work in now. And we're gonna. It's like the, some of those mem- uh, memories. <laughs> Royal United Song Service ones took a, a year or longer. Yeah, which is not gonna happen to you guys. We're gonna try to get done with all this shit like in, in the next couple weeks. So. Yeah, very soon. But th- th- you know, the sooner you get your your ticket in, the, the sooner you're gonna get yours. The longer you wait, the longer you're gonna have to wait. So it's just a matter of time. It's true. It's a true man. <sighs> what does that say? It's calling it cranking brews a, um, a a dialectic thing. We have always called it cracking brews um, in the Midwest. Yeah, cranking. You 
know, that's that, like... Well, to me, cranking and cracking aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah. Like, you crank a beer so, like, it's just to drink it. And, the, yeah. like, it's, like, shotgun it or... Like, cranking it is, like, going... But, but cracking it is just o- going... Opening it yeah. up. Yeah, so I think there's going to be different. And cracking brews is definitely something I don't say, but cranking brews... We don't really say anything brews. We'll say beers or, like... Yeah. Beer. We have, like, weird nicknames, too. Like, we'll, we'll say, like, some BLs for Bud Light. Yeah. Or Tecate Light. Yeah. We'll just call it by the name. By of the like, name of the beer. By the name of the beer a lot. Because we're like, I like the Gary's over here. He's like, are you guys discussing, like, what's the light beard again? <laughs> like, dude, we're light beard connoisseurs, dude. Yeah, They're up. all different, fool. And also, straight up, Tecate sucks. Tecate light, bomb. It's pretty, pretty goddamn good. Yeah. I was wondering if the Skinny Jesus should do some, uh, some everything on a skateboard, like drink, party, and fuck. That would be a dope video. Not bad. Uh, Jesus, Fucking yeah, cranking is going hard in my mouth. Cranking is, you can crank cigarettes. Yeah, you can crank. You can weed. crank that. Yeah, you just you're cranking. It's just like you're just like you're just you keep you're just like cr- you're, yeah, you're going you're, through it. You're just going through them. Yeah, yeah you're, you're cranking go- the machine. Yeah, you're going through it. Probably just gonna use it as my theme song when I have my own talk show on the Oprah Winfrey Network. You have to pay for that. You have to start a contract. Give me another. So, beer, am I good man? for that ice cream tape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got some. I just wanted to take it off the site because I didn't even know it was on there. Sorry, I, I forgot to answer your question about that earlier. But yeah, you got. You're good. You're good. I got you. On the ice cream tape. Crack a case of beer. You're good, Sartorius. You're good. Crack a cold. I do say crack a cold one, too. Yeah, you say crack a cold one. Crack a cold one. That's fun to say. Crack a cold one. Crack a cold one. <laughs> it sounds like an ancient um, native tribe. The crack a cold ones. Crack a cold ones. This is a crack a cold one building. Crack a cold one architecture. Hell yeah. Do you see how we uh, mind controlled y'all right there for a sec? Uh, Mike Spivey says, can you crank a brew for us on stream? Yeah. Yeah. We're drinking them right now. We're drinking right oh, now. Oh, but if you're talking about shotgunning a beer, you can go to the website, nartapes.com slash gtg. That's one of our little power-up. There's a little power-up donation that you can do. It's a little donation, a way to show that you appreciate us, and then in return, we'll do it. We'll crank a shotgun for you. Yeah. One of, one I, of I us. I can just crank this beer at a leisurely pace, but if you want to see a shotgun a beer... That requires a $5 donation, not because it necessarily needs to, but it's like, hey, it's like buying a drink for a homie at a bar, but you also, it's, it's like watching uh, some funny guys yeah. doing a shotgun. It's up to you, man. And other, I mean, sure, somebody's going to do it soon. Sometimes they do a, a lot. Of, somebody on the streams usually does it. And yeah. The, we've seen, I've seen a lot of them have before. Yeah. We've gotten, we've gotten pretty drunk on this show before. I would love to see a crazy cal, uh, calvacade of fucking sh- shotguns coming right now. That'd be cool. Like boom, 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 boom. Like twenty strike shotguns. Thirty shotguns. We got. We get. There's a. There should be quite a bit in there, huh? We can do probably at least. There's probably like fourteen, fifteen. Not bad. I would be down. Not would, bad at would, all. It'll scribble up my day tomorrow. That's fine. I've got a Nintendo Switch, and that helps. I can just sit and play that sometimes, and it doesn't interfere with somebody else wants to watch something or play PlayStation Four. Um, and I've been playing Bayonetta Two, which kicks ass. And Doom, which is fucking so kicks good. ass as well. They're huh? so and they're they're very similar, but very different. Where like the basic principles is the same. Where it's like badass brawls. It's just one's first person and different types of weapon and, and there's like weapons and moves and stuff. It's they're similar kind of in a weird way. Uh, Christina says if you're good at something, don't do it for free. You're right. Maybe we should just turn the stream off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, we're humanitarians. Yeah, we're humanitarians. We're down for the people, we're man. Giving, yeah, exactly. So Tara says, "Thanks, Dad." Yeah, Carl, you said, "Sounds like you're saying a crack a colon, crack a colon." He was says, "Ice cream, I like mint chocolate chip, uh, and, and strawberry, and Cherry Garcia, uh, and Rocky Road." He was someone who says, "Oh, I like that lyric too." Carl, you says, "So true." Carl, says, five dollars to see me fall down the stairs. That's too cheap." For yeah, that. you like at least forty, fifty bucks. All right. That, and hope you have medical insurance. Yeah, I hope so too. Oh, these crazy leaks. Yeah. And there's like all these wires in there. Carly, do sixty nine dollars see me lay in bed all day? Some people Don't would. would people dead, would definitely yeah. spend that for sure. What are those? What's that camming site? That Especially if use? you stipulated like you're the boss, you you make sure I can't you can't can't if you see me get up, you make sure you tell me to get back in bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the chat, I'll have it turned up loud. Yeah. <laughs> get back in bed. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> or mad dumb. I'll give you back more than $69 for that. Um, I'm not going to do that, though. But I will hear it. I'll try to crank through this. Yeah, have a little bit, man. 
Um, Tanya says 20 bucks for foot fetish videos. Yeah, people would do that. I had a girlfriend who did that. Some people do that. Cameron, what up, dude? What's up, dude? Cameron's a homie. I saw you got your package in the mail. Cameron's been getting some crazy rare stuff. Carly should be getting stuff uh, soon. Tima says, get back in there. Sup, Cam? Uh, Chally says, can you patch the leak with some tape? No, we need to get up there and we need to fill the cracks with some fucking silicone or something. It's crazy, yeah. yeah. Uh, is I heard somebody tell us the right way to do it, and uh, we also got to build uh, a ramp up there. To, like, I think it could pretty easily be a way to divert water off there. Yeah, we just need to get a, a. What we really need is to get a ladder. If any of you guys are in in, in the Southern California area uh, and have a big ladder, we can borrow uh, or or have. We'll give you a, a bunch of cool free shit, and if it's a really really good ladder, maybe we'll give you a song service about the ladder. <laughs> That'd be sick. I take a hit of shatter and climb up the ladder. There you go. Fuck the stairway. I'm taking the ladder to heaven. Ladder to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> a ladder to heaven. <laughs> Cameron says, working on some art and gonna watch the stream. Hell yeah, what up? Tony says, when in doubt, shove some cock in it. Yeah, caulking. Caulking gun. A cork, caulking gun? Caulking uh, so Trace says, can y'all play Hottest Girls in Town, nah. Uh, like, on the guitar? Um. Hmm, let me think. Guitar. Hmm. It's my, my guitar is in the office. How does that go? Do you know it's true what they say? Hot girls live in L.A. I don't even know what fucking key that's in. Uh, have I tried... That would be five dollars. Also, to request a song by the band. If you're just trying to hear it on the Bandcamp, you can just go to the Bandcamp. It's a free download. Uh, but I don't. We never played that song live. That was a purely, uh, purely recorded song. We did that lo-fi headphone DI style. Uh, but. I was actually if you can figure it out. If you wanted to donate for it, we'd try it out for sure. I, I love that song. But yeah, guys, go and uh, uh, it's the leap of faith. Come on, give us a leap of faith and go to nartapes.com and make tonight a very special night for you and for everybody watching the Nartapes Network. Kelly Jesus, Bree and I were discussing that there needs to be a Canadian girl's equivalent of that one song. Uh, there's something you may not know that hot girls live in Toronto. <laughs> that, that, that one. And it says, that's a grooving tune. Yeah, uh, yeah I know. Uh, if you want to order it. Uh, oh, yeah, well, yeah. As I can do it, if you want to order it. Doritos Blaze, not nah, uh, the Tapatio ones are pretty good, but you know what? I overdid those back in the day. Which ones? The Tapatio Doritos. Yeah, those are great. But I just had I've had way I've had way too many. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll happen, man. Uh, so I, tried, I saw that Pamela Anderson thing y'all did. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it was fun. Alex Van says, "Can you all play a bar a bar one chip challenge? It's hilarious." What? No, I I don't no. I don't know how to do that. I don't even know what that is. A Everybody bar uses, one. Yeah, and they are so good. Is that like the spicy chip or something? The Dorito Blaze? A bar? I don't think we have like Doritos and Bud Light. We're not even sponsored by that. Yeah, but they're both blue. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Hell yeah, guys. Check out, uh, check it out. Can't get enough of them jalapeno Doritos. Those are good. Akbar one chip challenge. Yeah, it must be one of those uh, spicy. Oh, we're not gonna play that right now. <laughs> uh, we're it, we're already diverting so far off our topic of mind control that uh, I don't want to play any other YouTube videos besides anything related to that. I yeah. don't want to play the Akbar one chip challenge. Uh, there's a brainwash overload on them tapa, uh, topatia chippies. Hmm. Uh, what if they had, um, so, um, uh, Topo Chico flavored chips? <laughs> and they're clear. They're just like Pop Rocks. Yeah. 
Okay, what about this? So a show where we people donate X amount of dollars so we watch a video and talk about it. What? Like a different show where we watch YouTube videos that people donate X amount of dollars. That, okay, we'll, we'll do it if you pay and then we'll watch it and talk about it oh, for, that's pretty for X good. amount of time. That's pretty good. It's not bad, right? I like that. Cameron says Topo Chico is my shit. Hell yeah. Of all the sparkly waters. Oh my god. It is the num- there's nothing better. Yeah, that's real good. <laughs> so annoying how mu- how little uh, the other ones compare to Topo Chico. I'm like, dude, y'all need like, what are people drinking this like? I, 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 I will just say, I, I think that LaCroix shit is bullshit. That shit gets flat in like five minutes. Yeah. And it's like. It gets flat. It gets fucking flat. What are you, gonna do? are you trying to crank that fucking... Like, yeah, real quick. That Topo Chico, I can leave that shit for like an hour and it still hurts. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it stings. Stings the palate. But also, I'll crank a whole Topo Chico too sometimes. It'll just like make my whole stomach... Like, I'll just... It'll like, okay, you're... It's like Drano. Yeah. Uh, call you the Pellegrino, Biatch. Uh, Pellegrino is bullshit too. I'm sorry, Carly G. It's not a good one. Yeah. Topo Chico only. Karen says, have you tried the grapefruit Topo Chico? Yes, with tequila. And it was tight. I liked it. I like a Minerawa. Minerawa is good. Minerawa is pretty good. It's second. Yeah, Minerawa is nice. There's some other random ones. There's it's like, like it's because like the Mexican ones have like the big bubbles. Ouch. The big bubbles. Yeah. But there's you also ever see Action Bronson watch Ancient Aliens? Also do a Narty's version of that. Yeah, but then everybody would know that it was Narty's version of that. Well, I think that uh, we kind of already are doing that in a way. But yeah, we kind of do that. <laughs> Uh, but maybe uh, if people really wanted that, I would be down. Tony says Lacroix makes Ricky a sad boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just yeah, it's just not. I don't think it's. Also, uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna talk this shit. Carlos, I don't think we even have Topo Chico here. I never had it. Yeah, it's pretty far down here. Cameron says the bubbles that hurt. It's from Mexico. The bubbles that hurt. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, mind control. Mind uh, control. Where were we at? In your... Let's. Um, we were talking about MK Ultra. So why don't we just get into like, um, the Hollywood aspect of right. of MK Ultra. Um, Funkle, could you cue up the Disney mind control video in the playlist? He's Thank doing you. It. So yeah, so so this this whole sort of thing ties into um, you know not just controlling the mind of one person, but using that person to then effectively control the minds of the masses. Um, the Disney, it's like the rabbit hole, is the channel with like the cheeseburger. I think it's Lindsay Lohan with a cheeseburger in the thumbnail or something like that. <laughs> but this this dude. It's pretty funny, and um, he does this really corny um, pitch down voice, which um, I had fun watching. And Alcha says, I pop Disney mind control. Yeah, there you go. Um, and then Sartori says, I heard when you see stars wearing like cheetah print cloths, a lot of that means they are sex slaves by mind control. I wear cheetah print a lot. Yeah. Carly G says, Nope, never heard of Chilada. What? You don't like Chilada? Alright, here we go. Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to the rabbit hole. The rabbit hole. Um, the subconscious the mind is mask. responsible for the majority of our decisions. In I fact, it is like the subconscious yeah. that is in control of about 95% of our actions, while the conscious mind is in charge of merely 1-5%, to 5%, depending on the individual. The behavioral responses of our subconscious are formed by the time we are 7 years old. That means that for the rest of our lives, our behavior runs on autopilot nearly all of the time, as informed by those early years of hardwiring. A study by Dr. Bruce Lipton, a developmental biologist, shows that while the subconscious mind operates at 40 million bits of data per second, the conscious mind works at only 40 bits per second, meaning the subconscious mind is a million times more powerful than the conscious mind and is the main force which shapes how we live our lives. And just how is the subconscious mind programmed? It learns from the examples of others, such as parents, siblings, and the community we are born into. Thus, how we behave in our life is really programmed by others rather than ourselves. 
When we encounter stimuli, we react automatically with any number of familiar, hardwired like, behavioral programs. Historically, right religions now. and religious groups like the Jesuits have used this knowledge to control the masses. The Jesuits knew this 400 years ago. They would boast, give me a child until it's seven, it will belong to the church for the rest of its life. Think about what that means! And in modern oh, times, yeah. this Crazy. information is nothing new to major companies which exploit our subconscious for profit <laughs> and given new technologies, <laughs> new psychological <laughs> research, new and new scientific understandings of the mind, they are able to do it with immense precision oh, and depth, all while hiding their efforts, leaving the masses to believe <laughs> we are independent, free thinkers. <laughs> Let's take a look at one of the biggest multinational mass media companies to infiltrate our lives through the subconscious. Disney. Follow me down. Disney is well known for hiding subliminal sexual messages in their children's movies. Most times, parents don't realize this because they are not obvious, at least to the yeah. conscious mind. This is how Disney bypasses the parents and takes control of their children. The sexual subliminal messages reach the children through the subconscious mind during their first seven formative years and thus program sex into their brain as an automatic behavioral response. Got so it. remember, That's what the subconscious mind is registering data a million times more than the conscious mind. By corrupting a child's development, these programmers are able to create a false need in an individual that leaves the person searching for sex or sexiness to fill a void. The feel-good nature of Disney movies and the magical memories of childhood are forever linked with sex. The need to fill that void is then exploited for profit throughout an individual's life. Products are embedded with subliminal sexual messages who are sexual in nature. The subconscious picks up on the programming and equates a purchasing item with sexual fulfillment, which they subconsciously believe will fill a void in their life. Thus, the individual is stripped of his or her conscious abilities and instead becomes a consumer whose purchasing decisions are not his own, but instead the result of sexual impulse, which was programmed into them by the very corporations, which in turn sell the merchandise. Well, Disney the programs the children, there? creating lifelong customers, similar to how the Jesuits created lifelong devotees to the church. There are over 40,000 <laughs> Disney princess toys. Children under the age of 14 spend about $40 billion annually, and teens contribute about $159 billion per year. Thus, Disney is big business. When children get too old for animated Disney movies, Disney Channel television shows pick up the slack. The worship of Disney princesses turns to the worship of tween celebrities. As children grow with Disney, Disney's sexualization of its characters and plots become more overt. Not to the extent that parents stop their kids from watching it, but to the extent that it fills the child's sexualized programming, keeping them loyal customers. When adults appear as characters on these shows, they are often portrayed as the comic relief element, driving home the message that parents are laughable. A message which is reinforced with canned laughter. I'm gonna get my opa on. Honey, if your pants split anymore, everyone's gonna see your opa. <laughs> this helps to break down the family structure in young teens' minds making them think that they know better than the adults. Yeah. Did she get in your head? Thus allowing Disney to yeah. take over the role of parenting. <laughs> Disney celebrities like Miley Cyrus start out as innocent Hannah Montana-like characters, which parents approve of. Kids copy the trends they see, dressing and acting like their favorite Disney characters. When the clean-cut Hannah Montana transforms into the sex idol Miley Cyrus, her fans do the same. They Sexuality do the same. becomes synonymous <laughs> with freedom, do, do the independence, idol. and adulthood. Yeah, it's at this crazy. point that He's parents try point. to draw a line, yeah, but it's too late. Their children have become Disney kids. Years of programming firmly in place. Triangle, the guys. desire to be like Miley, or really to become a celebrity yourself, becomes an unattainable dream attempted to be achieved yeah, through materialism. Like really Many people now, dream of becoming a celebrity because they imagine it would fulfill the void in their life which was created by the disintegration of the nuclear family and thus a lack of love during those most oh, formative really seven sad. years. When after buying the latest, He's sexiest like, product doesn't fulfill the desire, the void, the individual becomes depressed and feels low self-esteem. 
This low self-esteem begins the destructive cycle of commercial love. Purchase after purchase in a futile attempt to feel happiness, love, and contentment. There is a societal discontent that yeah. corporations have created <laughs> yeah. and then told job. us they could the fix with materialism. As I've said many times during this video, 95% yeah, of our behavior now, is controlled by the Dark subconscious. Takes. The exception to this statistic can be found in spiritual people like those who practice meditation. It has been scientifically proven that meditation yeah, amongst other techniques like the therapy rock, can rewrite neural pathways shit. and change the programming at any age. It is therefore the duty of parents to overcome their own program, <laughs> break the cycle, and live more consciously job. for their children. Empower your children. Life is about becoming more conscious beings, not materialistic ones. I will be making more videos about mind control and programming in the near future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep digging. This dude is ready. And the funny thing is that, that like, you know, He's not ready because what's he like got a whole room full of like his all his streaming stuff? That's yeah, just the totally. prop. Yeah, for sure. He's got like prep props. Sure. Prop prepper. He's a prep prepping poser. Prepper proper. Disney mind control, guys. Uh, I had one of the best days of my entire life at Disney World, Disneyland. Yeah, not not just that long ago. Um. Uh. Call you say, hey, a lot of these series could be co get co-opted by weird old white guys who make everything about destroying the nuclear family. Yeah, yeah. that's what a lot of the shit boils down yeah. to. Really. Just, oh. Well, that guy was a rabbit, so <laughs> yeah. he wasn't. Yeah, he Cameron, wasn't a man. Rabbits don't know shit. He was and a that rabbit was, voice yeah. too. Cameron says, "Fill my void with Nartes products." Yes. Jingle says, "Yes, Call you G." Call you says, "Go back to your rabbit hole, boy." Human seven 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 one three says, "The leaps that this guy makes to connect no problems with advertising, consumerism, capitalism, and the guys of children are being corrupted." Uh, Cameron says he has a room of cans, so he's ready. <laughs> Jordan says, I thought that Rabbit was about to try to sell me boner pills. Yeah. In my garage, I hide my face because I'm actually a known sex offender in my area. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand these kids on the Disney Channel. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just looking at them, I got so fired up. <laughs> the way they ridicule their kids, the parents. So he was all over the place with that vid. Yeah, well, he's a rabbit. He's a rabbit. Yeah, they Where'd got you find that, Isaac? On YouTube. Yep, see? That's where you go. That's, that's where, you... where you find shit like that. And you find shit like this. So go to the website.com. <laughs> Nartakes.com. It's true. The website.com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, make sure when you're buying something, to use that code GTG. Save 10% off whatever you're buying. Get that stoner hat. We have uh, three of those stoner hats left. <laughs> Just do it, man. Just do it. Come on, do it. Come on, do it. I love you. Do it. All right. Anyway, so that guy, uh, you know, you know, he was pretty silly. Um, but, but I mean, what, what is it? it? Is it such a stretch that 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 a lot of that's probably probably plausible? I mean, I think again, one of my favorite sayings: "The proof is in the pudding." <laughs> Consumerism, maybe not. But a loyal Disney customer, I think they've done a pretty good job with that. It's true. Yeah, the, love and, the, it. and it's pretty clear <laughs> that there are penises in their stuff. So I don't know why they're doing it, but yeah, it is. It, it has yeah, been well. very effective. Yeah, the other it's way, it's like, like what's like kids are, are gonna get are gonna be like know about sex? Like what? What? Because 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 if they're not programmed by Disney, then they're just never gonna think about sex ever. Come on, give me a break. Like, all those secret links make stupid, me all hot. Stupid rabbit. Dumbass things. rabbit. <laughs> Tricks are for kids, you oh, stupid God. I like that okay. girl's censored boobs without the nipples. Like, they're, like, big and sexy, but, like, clean at the same time. They don't have those dirty devil nipples. Uh, he even says, I ain't against the idea, but that evidence wasn't compelling, lol. But there are weird hidden sex stuff in the, yeah. in the movies that he didn't even cover. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah that video was not, a, uh, was not a shining example, but interesting nonetheless. And, um, you know, there is still, you know, Disney does have this power to control and, and, and mold the minds of young, young children. Well, straight up, we could do an entire episode about Disney on the Paranormal Narcast oh, okay. if we're talking about conspiracies and shit. Because yeah. they are a, a fucking huge media corporation and the biggest, probably. And, uh, because it makes you guys say paranormal. Paranormal. You heard you guys say paranormal. Last time it was paranormal. Paranormal. Narcast. Like caramel. 
Yeah, Tina Turner does that. He says, "What's creepier is the reason for all the foot jokes in Nickelodeon shows." Well, that guy that that is definitely some creepy shit, and <laughs> and I I think a a distinct um maybe a distinct symptom of this kind of sexualized mind control fucking fucks it bullshit that goes on all around media and Hollywood and and in the government and fucking schools and shit yeah. and ch- the churches and shit. It's like. Cameron says, people love our revolution, down with the Disney capitalism, we must seize the means of production, comrades. Carly says, oh my god, Christina, yes, I was just reading about that guy. Honey says, Dan, get in the van, Schneider. Human 713 says, but I think that it's the animators and creators putting Easter eggs in more than subliminal messaging, although that, that is creepy. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's exactly, it, from what I hear, all the, the, the mermaid, Little Mermaid shit was because they were mad about, like, they, they couldn't get it, the, their strike was, like, not getting shut down. And, like, all that other section is just because the animators were getting, could get away with it. Less than like Disney trying to be doing anything because Disney doesn't want to do any of that shit. I think Disney wants to just get get money and get away with that. And I don't think that why would Disney try to be selling off sex stuff when everything that they have is trying to be like super super clean? And they're not like, they're just trying to sell super clean shit. It doesn't make fucking sense. God, you said just powerful guys doing some powerful guy shit because they can, yeah. But it's also those animators just put that shit in there because it's fucking funny. Yeah. You know, like it's like put some titties in the back of the seventies because they're fucking weed smoking animators and they're like Disney sucks. I can get away with this. <laughs> they're only hiring me like this one fucking gig. I know I'm not gonna get hired for the next fucking. There's not gonna be another Rescuers movie, so I'm gonna put this in there. Like Little Mermaid, like like there. I, I think there's a specific story about that even. So I think and, and shit like that happens. And that's my thing too. A lot of times with this Illuminati stuff is I think that like more often it's just. A bunch of dudes have known each other for a long time. Their family knows each other for a long time. It's not even Illuminati. It's just dudes just do fucked up dude shit. And hopefully that shit will all be destroyed someday when they turn when the all the satellites crash and everybody turns back into cavemen. Because that's the only way. Like at the end of Escape from L.A. <coughs> when Snake Plissken pushes the button and sends us all back into the uh, Stone Age. And he lights a cigarette. And he says, uh, um, what does he fucking say? It's like, um... Welcome to... Humanity or uh, welcome to the human race. Yeah, welcome to the human race. <laughs> yeah, so fucking <laughs> sick. <laughs> yeah, that shit is pretty. Cool. No, we were watching mushrooms when I, we, last time. I think we we watched that movie. We were on mushrooms. And that's the uh, the the uh, genesis of the Solid Snake character for the vastly popular Metal Gear series. Snake Plissken. Cameron, just where do you guys think? Uh, or Jess W. First says, Fight Club parried it on the movie theater sig bum cutscene. Cameron Diaz, where do you guys think Walt Disney's frozen head is? Uh, California somewhere, maybe? Yeah. Atop a huge um, in a, in a robot, baseball, maybe? Yeah. Yelling orders at people on the moon? Yeah. I was about to just, I got a boner watching Aladdin. Yeah, I thought I had that same thing, too. Because they, they had secret mind yeah. control uh, frequencies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I feel like the end is just to keep the parents interested since they're left. They're the ones with the spending power. Yeah, totally. Human says the same reason that the Star Wars set team put a potato in the prequels and an asteroid team because they wanted to get back at how they were treated. Uh, there's a potato. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I think I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. It was a, and a cow. What? Oh, just Aladdin was hot. Yeah, Aladdin was hot for sure. Yeah, so was uh, yeah, Princess Jasmine. Jasmine. I will show too. you my ball. <laughs> Shining, hairy, and stangling. Oh, man. Remember when when Jasmine was Jafar's like sexy Jasmine with a different colored outfit and it was like all like creepy, yeah. Was, it was sexy. Hot. It was sexy too. Uh, I was just watching as as Gilbert Godfrey's voice today. Ah, Jafar! <laughs> Squat! <laughs> yeah, he was a he was one of the best parts of that movie for sure. Right, and what now? Will Smith's gonna be the genie in the new one. Will Smith is the genie in the new one. Yeah, I never had a friend like me. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you can't wish for that. A lot of love yeah. damn mind in the West. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't Look. trying to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to give you your wishes. <laughs> but you got to help me out. Woo! <laughs> Aladdin! <laughs> 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 Remember Will Smith used to have that little scream he always did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was like it. the high-pitched girl kind of... Yeah. Unlock the black next octave kind of shit. Ah! It, it, yeah, it was pretty fucking funny. He <laughs> did it in, like Men in Black. And... Uh, uh, yeah, it was in Fresh Prince a lot. Yeah. For sure. Fresh Prince, man. It's a great show. Great show. 
Well, I um. Uh, we're gonna crack up one of these bags. What? I do think that that they use subliminal imagery to evoke um, sex, and that's just from that from. That's how they, the, all the marketing people did it. It all came from fucking Freud's nephew or whoever that was, Freud's cousin or nephew, right? His nephew. Who, yeah, who was the, uh, the advertising mogul. Um, and yeah, maybe that shit is connected to secret societies. Who knows? Yeah, but not, uh, yeah. Who knows? I don't know. That's the other thing too, where they're like, it's always like, like it says like government mind control. And it's like, yeah, that's one thing. But then there's the real... Like, if it comes down to, like, a secret society, they're above the government. College so. says, I hope they use Genie in a Bottle by Christina Aguilera in the soundtrack. Cameron says, I'm a genie in a bottle. Apparently, they might be bringing back the Fresh Prince as the Fresh Princess of Bel-Air. Oh, that's cute. That's Even cool. says, oh, and there's a tennis shoe in Empire Strikes Back as the comet, actually, or asteroid. Nice, a tennis, tennis shoe? Sartorius says, are Doritos Illuminati? Yeah, if anything is. Oh, yeah. Sure. They're triangles, yeah. Exactly, Sartorius. Who, uh, Nabisco or, or Nestle maybe has something, some hand in this? In PepsiCo, maybe? On um, Doritos? Am I tripping? I don't know. They're delicious. The, the Dorito flavor that sends back, a, like, <clears throat> like a microphones. <laughs> this is, like, this is my controller's best right here. This isn't food. Yeah, consumerism. Strange <clears throat> What tones do you like? Look, we we got all the blue like Bud Light, blue Doritos. Like we have a cool, having a cool time. What about Toblerone, Little Pyramid? Says Carly G. Oh yeah. Platter says, "Have you seen Eyes Wide Shut?" Yes. What yeah. are your thoughts on the subliminals in that film? Don't even get me started. Yeah, I mean, yeah. also people trying to be really creative with subliminal messaging. So that there's that as well. So I believe in that shit. I believe in that shit. I just don't. I guess what I mean is just like, I don't think the Illuminati is as powerful as like whatever aliens are. Yeah, yeah. they might be in cahoots. That's what. It, that's where. It, where, it, where everything meets, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think the rich people. Rich people just get a bunch of money to fuck, fuck each other, fuck poor people all the time. Yeah, Illuminati panties. Christina has triangle in her thong, she says. Human yeah, says, triangle is just a powerful... Uh, your thong has a triangle on it? Yep. It's powerful geometry. You can build bridges with the triangle. Mm-hmm. But can we build a link to the uh, uh, people who are running this crazy New World Order? God damn it, Doritos. That is so good. What are we doing? You know, I definitely had Doritos before I was seven. Really? It's like a school and shit. Because have you guys ever watched the show, the new show, Altered Carbon? I haven't. You know about it? Mm-mm. What is it? Huh. The next paranormal is about Doritos. Mm-hmm. This one, too. Part one. Yeah, ma. I just want they're more Doritos. What the fuck? They're mind controlling us. <clears throat> Alright, so where we at now? In the presentation. Let's um let's do the Roseanne little interview. Alright. So Roseanne, tell us about Roseanne. She's she's the one who's all about the Hollywood mind control shit. She's she's into the um, you know, trying to out <clears throat> hot shot record producers controlling um, you know. Younger Hollywood stars um, with this sort of mind control device. Roseanne has always been a rebel in Hollywood, I feel like, you know, because she's not. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Read out his chat. Out loud. I was invited to an Eyes Wide Shut orgy and watched my friend bone at grandma. It was gross. She moaned weird, kind of like grunts. That shit haunts me. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sweet. Did you get down? Is the media and entertainment responsible for perpetuating a rape culture? 
Yeah, I think the media is responsible for perpetuating a rape culture. And, you know, I mean, it's profitable for the people at the top who run the rape culture, uh, you know, who run it and, uh, you know, they profit from it. And, and to say otherwise would be a big fat lie. But um, so, you know, they don't want any kind of power shifted away from the way they have it set up in a very hierarchical uh, manner with, uh, you know, women's free labor at the bottom, largely uh, slave labor, at the bottom of that big pyramid. You've been a Hollywood insider for so long, yet you've been vocal for so long. I mean, how challenging is it to see your colleagues across Hollywood lacking for the Obama administration when they have so much power and influence that they could single-handedly shape the dialogue when so many people are watching them? Well, uh, I think that, you know, this is, is a is culture of like fear, and um, like nobody's Russia more afraid than people RT in Hollywood. They're afraid that they'll drop out of the top, you know. Oh, no. you th they're out. afraid that they'll drop from no. the bottom of the pyramid, maybe to the middle the of the pyramid. But, you know, they, they, they're the ones. Uh, Hollywood is the, oh, no. is the one that keeps all this power structure and all this culture of racism and sexism and, uh, and classism and genderism and all of it in place. They continually feed it, and they make a lot of money doing it. And they do it at the behest of their masters who run everything. So, you know, they're not going to get brave enough to do that. I mean, I think that there, there aren't many of us who, um, who are brave enough to do that. And I'm just, uh, All of Hollywood. you know, I'm, I'm lucky that I can do it, and I feel that I do it on behalf of uh, many people in Hollywood, too. I, I go to Hollywood parties or... You know, occasionally I go to Oscar parties and things like that. And people, oh, big know. stars, people will grab me by the arm and take me aside and say, I just want to thank you for the <laughs> things you say. And it blows my mind, but that, that's the Is culture. It's a culture, right culture of fear for sure. Um, you know, and, and it's a, a big culture mm. of uh, mind control too. MK Ultra mind control rules in Hollywood. It, if, if you don't know, Google that and look into it. Well, we've talked about Operation Mockingbird, MK, my, MK Ultra mind control stuff from, I mean, this goes back decades and decades. But Roseanne, I mean, do you know people have been blacklisted? I mean, is it just kind of a self-censorship in Hollywood, or do people actually get edged out if they are too much against the grain? Um, yeah, it's self-censorship after a while, but it's not just a crazy self-censorship. It's self-censorship because it, it, there, there's actually a danger that you will never work again. And uh, people know it. They, the, everybody has friends that it happened to. That maybe you said too through. much or maybe you were too vocal on, on, uh, on uh, unpopular issues. And it's funny because it doesn't matter if maybe two years know. later, I find this a lot, maybe that two years later, those unpopular issues become very mainstream. They still don't forgive the first person who does it. And uh, that's kind of been my story there. When you're first, you're um, you know, going to be vilified, despite the fact that two years later everybody's saying what you said. You're still going to be vilified because you dared. And you know, uh, you know, like they say, the Chinese, uh, you know, the Chinese have a, uh, a myth or a saying that says the, the nail that stands up is hammered down. And that's how it is here and everywhere in the world. Right. You know, you don't really want to put yourself at odds with, with people who um, decide your future and, and pay, you know, for your uh, work. But sometimes you have to. Sheep, and and I was very sheep. lucky that I had no, a successful like, show that made thing. me like uh, a, lot, a lot of money. It, and I so that I can do that. And I feel mm. that I owe she that to the people I, I came from to say those oh, things that maybe they Benjamin. can't say because oh, yeah. they're afraid they'll be fired or they're afraid even that they'll be put Bring in jail or whatever. Um, I'm going to do it, because why not? I know that you were also a supporter of Occupy Wall Street, which unfortunately was violently suppressed by militarized police forces all across the country. And Roseanne, I tell people that everything we do every day is political. I mean, every action we take is a vote, essentially. Any more words of advice you can give to people who are watching this and saying, you know, there's nothing that can be done and we don't have a so voice? So y'all make me one to read Well, out. I'd say that, that, that that's not true. There's so that's much true. that can be done. And don't stop now because we've put a crack so in it. And now the light will get in. So don't stop now, whatever you do. Don't stop. And, you know, they talk about that's Occupy so Wall Street and this and that and the other. But, you know, it needs a reboot, like everything having to do with 
resisting a country yeah. being Exposed owned by truth. banksters and both you parties go. of its government being owned by banksters. But there's no way we can turn our back or quiet down okay. now. It'll only get worse. Right. Nobody they knows. Keep this on Nobody too, remembers it. I just do this I walked on away there from the show twice last Nobody asked about it. He keeps it pretty real too Nobody about um, about. the ins and outs. And he had a number one show too. Okay, just keep it playing. Yeah. It's like the same shit. Celebrities trying to out the... Uh, you can just yeah. keep eating Doritos. You talking about it? In, in yeah. uh, one of these magazines, Newsweek. It's a very credible magazine. And they're saying... Um, you know, maybe I smoke crack, and it was all innuendo. And, and the magazine as credible as Newsweek, I was very surprised that that this was happening. And then I got to make some real choices, man. Is that what I want for myself? Did I get too big? Because I like people, I like entertaining, and the higher up I go, for some reason, the less happy I am. You know, is it going to get to the point where I'm doing a strip tease on TRL or waving a gun on the street, <laughs> saying they're trying to kill me? No, I'm not going to let it get to that point. I'm going to go to Africa. I'm going to find a way to. I'm going to find a way to be myself, man. I gotta. I gotta. You know. I'm an artist, man. I'm. You know, I don't. I don't need a sneaker deal. I, I mean, I'd like one if they, but. <laughs> But that's kind of not, that's not the need that makes you guys go to school. You're not in this school right now because you want a sneaker deal. It'd be nice, but that's, that's not why you're here, right? You're not here because, you, you know, you'd like to be in the movies, but it, to, to act or to entertain or to, it's a need. So says it's not tapes Illuminati. But maybe a lot of your friends don't even understand. But Shut you up, got dude. that need and you have Hang your dreams. Now. Who is an Illuminati? Yeah. And... There's only six Get studios, man. There's <laughs> only six agencies, man. This is a small, controlled thing, and I don't like having to beg for the spotlight, man. It, the, you know, the machine is good for us, and we good for the machine, and it should be, should be fair, man. It should be fair. What did you find in Africa that was an antidote to that? In Africa? Well, a lot of things. First of all, I'm a Muslim. I don't necessarily practice you say he's a Muslim. the way I, a, a good Muslim is supposed to practice, but I believe in these tenets. Mm -hmm. And in Africa, there's a small community of people that don't know anything about the work I do, and they just treat me like I'm a regular dude. So I knew that in Africa I'd have a place to sleep, and that I wouldn't have to feel strange. And you know, when they would call me crackhead and all these things. In the country where I'm from, in Africa, they didn't know anything. They was feeding me and taking care of me and taking me to the mall and just regular stuff. And it just made me feel good. It just reminded me that I was a person, you know. I didn't even know they were saying those things about me. Then I called home and people would be like, oh, my God, are you all right? Yeah, chill, I'm in Africa, baby. What's going on? <laughs> and then I got a call from a journalist that had been working on a story, and he was like, yeah, I'm Rumor mill's going on about you. Just want to clear a few things up. And I'm like, hey, what's going on? Okay, uh, do you smoke crack? I said, what? <laughs> do you smoke crack? Did you graduate from high school? Uh, I mean, it was all these crazy questions. And I thought about never coming back. I said, this, this place is crazy. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm that dude. I just thought about all the things that celebrities go through and what celebrities become in our culture. You know, if you Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston and your marriage is breaking up, that's an awful thing. But to see that speculation in people got to sting a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and then I realized, oh, my God, I'm one of those people. That's a small club, man. That's a weird place to be. That's the thing. Ain't really no going back. You can't, you can't get unfamous. You can get infamous. Yeah. Right. But you can't get unfamous. Right. So I got scared. I'm not going to lie, y'all, I was scared to death. And I, I didn't touch the mic. But, you know, it was cool, man. The first time I went back out and did stand-up, it was in Cincinnati. So it's not far from the farm. I said, if I got to run, I can get home fast. <laughs> and um, clubs sold out real fast. I played a comedy club. 
And man, when I walked out on that stage and them people were screaming, I get teary-eyed just thinking about it. Because this industry can say whatever they want, but man, people will hold you up. And that crowd, man, my spirits were so low when they was just holding me up. And I, I hadn't told jokes, but this shit was just coming back like, cry the kid again. You're the best around. I just, I was, I was just doing it, man. man. I don't know how this whole Dave Chappelle thing is gonna end. But I feel like I'm going to be some kind of older. parable. Yeah, yeah this is... By like either what you're supposed ago. to do or what you're not supposed like to do. I'm going to be something. I'm either going to be a legend or just that tragic <laughs> story. Yeah. But I'm going full throttle. I'm going all the way. He has the look now, I want too. To, like, I'm, I'm yeah, eager to find to out how this will resolve itself. You know, you have Chappelle's show, this almost, like, overnight uh, success. Do you still feel that uh, it was kind of maybe too much all at once or do you feel that yeah, again with your again with the decades forever, worth of work that uh, yeah, he's, been, uh, he's been a working actor for baby. sure was it too much at once or do you feel it was deserved which which was i don't know i just you know i deserve something i mean li literally deserve is a really though i deserve is a tough word but the show yeah. had a, it, it all yeah, seemed like a that. logical Dude, progression it, it like, it's like, it's like yeah I could have pulled a LeBron and exploded when I was a kid, but it didn't happen that way, and I'm probably better for it. Like, had I got that kind of... I'm 32 when I went to Africa, so I can only imagine what happened if I was, like, 19 and had Chappelle's show. Nice. Or if I could even have handled it. It's a, it's a tremendous responsibility, having a show like So, wait, is he talking about demons yet, or...? or but, um, I think that's later. Everything's going fine, I think, till season three, I mean. And... And it wasn't the but, fame yeah, that got mostly it. talks about um, I just love, like that I pressure, love you know. I like people saying that they like what I do. That. We got chats. You know, there's just a whole. You know, it's like an economic threshold you cross, what man. What the fuck is that? You know, they were they were throwing out numbers like. Carly said, Roseanne sang the dollars. national. You wait. put that in the paper next to your name, then that guy's going to Roseanne sang the national anthem at a baseball game once, and the audience was throwing bottles and they called no her question. fat fuck, so she spat you know, on the pitchers like and grabbed her crotch and walked out smiling. I don't like yeah. to have H. To Bush called her disgraceful. I don't want my life to become about. Um, so I tried to say, Dish Ball, homie. Human says, Yeah, I remember that. I mean, she ain't no Whitney, but Def didn't deserve the treatment she got. I mean, when Jimi Hendrix played the anthem, there were people who were disgusted by that, too. I think some Americans are just too pathetic for their own good. You ever see the cartoons where they're hungry and he looks over his buddy and his buddy look like a chicken dinner? <laughs> That's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, I think that America needs an honest discourse with itself. It's like the greatest country in the world by default. You know what I mean? But we could actually be the greatest country that ever existed if we were just honest about who we are and what we are and where we want to go, and if we learn how to have that discourse. Ugh. Things like racism are institutionalized. It's systemic. It's, you might not know any bigots. You feel like, well, I don't hate black people, so I'm not a racist. But you benefit from racism just by the merit of the color of your skin. There's opportunities that you have. You're privileged in ways that you may not even realize because you haven't been deprived in certain ways. We need to talk about these things in order for them to change. I do the show. I walk down the street. Black people like it. White people. It, the generations. It doesn't matter because it needs to be talked about. It's like the elephant in the living room that nobody says anything about. So when the Bigsby thing came out, there was a lady from <laughs> Texas that called Comedy Central, I mean, what? damn near 100 times. She was furious with me. I wasn't mad at her for being mad at me. It's like, okay, that's good, you know. Not good that she's mad at me, but dog. she's in time to her opinion. Feed the dog, Colin. Feed the dog. And maybe she's right. Dog I don't know. I just, I just thought it was funny. That's what I did. I'm a comedian, man. That's how I look at the world, and that's that's what I'm spitting out. So. I don't, I don't, I don't judge people that. Or, not like people for thinking. I, you know, people that I love tell me I go too far sometimes. Maybe I went also, too far. Also, let me just shout out real quick that James Lipton is like 
like 90. Yeah. And he's your living room. Oh, just let this one is go. the factory. This one's the product crazy. It's like uh, you're watching inside the actor studio that is like is it's like in his age the entire series. So it's pretty crazy. It's like uh, dude, yeah, he's like he's like, this is like uh, Corey King and Corey Feldman. Corey in because he was trying to expose the child's sex rate. Oh, yeah. These are just all really fun. Like that. <laughs> Get you in the mood for the Corey. I don't have to do that. Corey, I'd love to see you even attempt to do something like that. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding you right You're now? An easy target, bro. I'm right here. Let's do this. I'm right here. Hit me with the hardest bull you got. Now, why would I want to try and hurt you? Corey, you open it up to the world about me having a knife in my pocket. And the reason I wear this, man, is like to cover up the scars I have. Because like, I used to cut into myself. <coughs> Because it's a way to feel, I hear. <laughs> and like mentioning that, oh, wait. you just uh, rip the envelope, man. <coughs> I'll go you one better. You let me get around in my life, man, raped, so to speak, when I was about 14 and a half. And I'm saying this right now by the guy you still can hang out with and tell me I'm 14 and a half, take responsibility. You know exactly what I'm talking about. What'd you do, man, when you saw that going down when I was 14 to me? What'd you do? You knew about it. Besides being his best friend, what'd you do? What'd you do? Tell us what you did, man. I believe Lines I was... of cocaine with me. You, God you, bless you. You, you want to talk about the truth? Okay, well, then let's talk about the truth. I was being molested at the same time by somebody else. What'd you do? What'd you do? Talk to you about it. You talked to me about yeah, it? Yeah, sure. You told me while I was sleeping, this happened, yeah, this, this happened. This is like, like one right? of the boys. Sleeping? This is crazy. Yeah, I was sleeping. Try to talk to you about it. Yeah, sure. Were you sleeping? I was awake, Corey. Okay. I was very aware of what's going on with me. <sighs> so I might take this to go. Okay. Mom. Would be the probably smartest thing to do. <laughs> and you know what? Cool. You, you want to put all that shit on the table? You want to just that. put you in the ground, kid? Yeah, okay. Really, it's not okay. good. Me around you is detrimental for my health, man. You're really, 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 really f***ed up in your head, kid. And I really don't want to be your friend anymore. I can't. I can't. It's not that I don't want to be. I can't. Well, that's where it's at. I can't. Yeah, and so like the conspiracy is like when they have these younger actors, they, they crew them up and That's it, hundred percent. Yeah, man. Uh, you you know, anywhere you go to high places of power, you see pedophilia sex rings. What is the deal with that? Yeah, why do they all? What is it with having like all that power? And that's fucking politics, the churches, corporations, fucking media, un crazy stuff. Are they? Do you think those types of people are already pedophiles? I don't know. Or do you like with with the power that 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 thirst and hunger grows? Yeah, baby, it's black magic. Do you really show the yeah, again? exactly. Like uh, it's you, you yeah, it's crazy. Fucking gross. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, maybe maybe power absolute power corrupts yeah. absolutely. They say. Who knows? 
But then it's also like, man, I think some of these people aren't even in that high of positions of power. It's just I feel like, like that's the real Illuminati. Is that like there's just been like a big, a big giant secret underground child sex ring forever yeah. and they've been manipulating everything and they are the ones that really move everything and that they force their product onto political leaders to, to get them wrapped up in their bullshit and then they can just control it and watch I'm gonna get killed for saying that <laughs> the uh uh now this will change everything it's just a compilation of of um celebrities you know, getting triggered in public, that type of thing. You know, some of these, you know, this is a paranormal, Narcast, where it's just entertainment. Some of these may be real, I don't know. That? But uh, these are celebrities like losing it on live TV or or, or at a show. I can't, I can't have move. You can just talk over that shit. You're paralyzed. paralyzed. Just like that day when you did nothing. You did nothing. Now, like this is what they do to sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, they think Al Roker. Al Roker. Is they he think Al Roker. He got got, he got, got, got out. The, the, the This one, yeah, oh. dude. <laughs> dude, he's just spacing out. Yeah. You had to get up at like 4 Yeah, in the it's like 4. It's like 6. You had to get up at like 2. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> he's still. Man, maybe he's just like meditating. Yeah. Not in the first one. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the second one. Yeah. She might have taken the wrong pill that day. Yep. Sure. I'm sure he was delighted when you told him because. <laughs> Doing this on purpose. 
Good point, Carly G said. She's created a weird persona on purpose so people would think she's a her hermaphrodite alien because she wanted to be like David Bowie. Also, she's an alcoholic. Kind of. That is pretty weird. <laughs> At the press conference. But at the end of the day, you know, I have I have amazing teammates. You know, guys like Draymond, everybody. Like damn. Like when they said his name, he like snapped out of it. These guys are under a lot of stress. Yeah, of course. And a lot of mind control. Is that what they call mind control these days? This shit is weird. <laughs> what is happening to I you? I think either I make up a fucking up or something, maybe. Yeah, but. what is happening to you? I don't know. She's is got she like. malfunctioning? <laughs> There's something going on. If it's a robot, Anyways, that would make sense. Hang on my opponent to put him away. How will Aldo try to attack Connor? Okay, well, Aldo's a very fast guy, and these guys have been wanting to get at each other. The big question is. Can Aldo even get to Conor McGregor? Somebody that's got the footwork of Conor, the awkward styles constantly is changing between an orthodox and a uh, south. Uh, He's just his knees are locking. He's gonna pay himself. Yeah. So. <laughs> He's just like, and he's also like. Kind of like punch, punch uh, says her false eyelashes are coming unglued. Lol, they yeah, stick into your eyeballs. That's Whoa. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, the way he sees you. Yeah, like, yeah. Just want to like yeah, smear, yeah. get. Yeah, yeah. He's just, like trying to like get it to work. He's like, fuck. <laughs> I know because I, my I, I played video games, but at one point for so long, I was like, ah, I can't respect anyone. Tô bem tranquilo quanto isso. Não vejo problema nenhum para mim. I don't think so. I don't think it's a problem. I've never disrespected anyone. So I'm not I'm not sure what it is. So what is it that that he oh, did that disrespected you cool. that got you to dislike him? This is not a therapy session. <laughs> well, no, but you were. Uh, uh, but, but you were. All right, Connor, can you respond? Say something nice about Jose, please. No. Okay, not happening. <laughs> Dana, I know you're excited about this fight. I'm excited about this fight right now. It is going to go down UFC 189. I'm looking forward to it, guys. Thanks so much for coming here on the show. He's not there. Tony says, I think if you follow anyone around the camera long enough, you'll catch them making weird ass faces or spacing out. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, she was just wiping her face. I'm sure you guys can make a super cut of times I stared off on this fucking network, dude. Yeah, we should do that. We should make like, 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 in our tapes are shapeshifters. Yeah. This one is fucked up. Have you seen this? Yeah. Drugs. He clicked into like the act or something. I don't even know how to do this. Yeah. I okay. just have always wanted to try it out. Why have you always wanted to try it out? <laughs> I just okay. have always wanted to try it out. Why have you always wanted to try it out? Carly, just Katy Perry is my favorite pop star. Yeah. yeah. Huckle, Give her a break. Huckle, 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 Huckle. Mather. Some of you may know him as Eminem, but he's going to join the Saturday Night Crew with our music he's on intro. Drugs. Yeah, he's on Saturday night. night. But folks, he's I want to take you to the world premiere of one of his new videos called Berserk. Take a listen. Yeah, sorry. Live TV. Live TV freaks me out a little bit. No. Um... Yes, I'm sorry. What was the question? Oh. Yeah, I'm really uncomfortable right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was legitimate. Just friends. Just friends. Yeah. <laughs> he was uncomfortable. He's a good man. Doing well. That long was time. so fucking We've been weird. friends for a long time. Life. We were discussing. Do you think that's something you still want to do in life? Hi, are you considering performing at the Hi, no comment about your meeting. I just wanted 
take a picture right now. And you take care of yourself. I'll see you soon. All right. Do you remember that? We were sending tons yeah. of names. That was one of the weirdest things And then you wrote back, I like Saints. It was like right after he said that no. stuff about Trump. Yeah. This one's weird too. Some people Do say that Do not act Ellen like you don't remember that. <laughs> we were sending a million names. We got a party with Alec. All right, well, it happened. Mm -hmm. And how is uh, the North as a big sister? She's good? Look at this background yeah. music. What if they yeah. did this live one? She's hip hop expression. Hip hop started out in the park. Now everybody's trying to try. I don't give a how much you sold. If you playing on radio, are you connecting? Picasso is dead. Steve Jobs is dead. Walt Disney is dead. Name somebody living that you can name in the same breath as them. Don't tell me about being likable. Roman is a crazy boy who lives in me. And <laughs> he says the things that I don't want to say. <laughs> he was born, of, you know, just a few months ago. Sorry, just I feel like 90% of these are on purpose or they're just really tired or pissed he off. He was conceived yeah, in rage. Sure. Tonight is Katy Perry's overrated. Everyone. He threatens yeah. to beat people and he's violent. Oh, nice has kind of been trying to break his mind well, control. You can just sort of blame every... The human says he paid for that photo with Trump. He wants to be blamed. I don't want to blame him. I, I, I ask him to leave, but he can't. He's here for a reason. People have brought him out. People conjured him up. Deal. Now he won't leave. Also, I want to find out about the situation with you have many, many Easy. different uh, alter egos, right? Oh, oh, yes. Roman is one, and then you Roman have... Roman is one. Uh, Barbie's one. She's like the little Look innocent girl. Um, I have Martha, who's Roman's mother. She's like Thought a crazy a show, like lady from London. And actually, actually, she's going to date, she's going to make her debut in the video that I just shot with Drake. It's for a song called Moment for Life. Mm -hmm. So we just shot that video, and Martha, like, you'll actually see Martha in the video. It's going to oh. be kind of weird. Great. I, I can't, <laughs> can't wait to see her. Um, it was way better than, than I expected. And Sasha was in full effect. Sasha is my alter ego. And when people see me, sometimes I think that when they meet me and they speak with me, they're expecting Sasha. And um, I'm really kind of shy, and not really shy, but more reserved and um, nothing like Sasha. But I guess I wouldn't be very entertaining on the stage. So Sasha comes out <laughs> and she's fearless. No, she can, well, she okay, can do stop. things Every that I cannot do when I'm in rehearsal. I mean, I can try, so but says queen it just doesn't happen. I can sing yeah. notes, Look at sing that. strong, <laughs> and do all these things that when I'm just by myself, and I can't just up, do. See the sacred and I remember uh, right Rihanna, before Asia I performed, got talent vid. I haven't. I raised my hands up, Probably just and is it was kind of the first time I, I felt something else come into me, and I knew that was gonna be my coming out night for the BET Awards. From Mexico to London. It was pretty rough, yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Ah, weird. Hello. Um, oh my goodness, hello. Ew, strawberry. Um, yeah, it was a weird time. Ew, I'm in the first. Can we stop? Oh, here we cry. Stop. Leave Britney alone. Leave Britney alone. Carly G said, leave Britney alone. <laughs> Sorry, Max says, Beyonce is such a phony baloney. Sorry, says, she felt that D coming in. Please, please, guys, don't do this. Well, there's lots of ways to mind. Yeah, Manipula it's just manipulation of someone, um, someone's decisions that they make. Mind control, not in the way that, um, you know, I'm using my psychic powers to make you do what you want, but, you know, they condition these people, these celebrities. Britney was groomed, she, she came from the Disney club, that's, you know. This? Yeah. 
Yeah. Crazy. That was Britney who hit that? So Taurus says, play me, hit me one more time in reverse. Hell yeah, we're gonna bomb these banks. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Order I, next, yeah, next Soon, after this. Bro. <laughs> next after this, I got a good video uh, of uh, a good <laughs> songs. That's a uh, good day to die. And uh, one. <laughs> but I, I suppose <laughs> it's because you had kind of a good day, and if you would have died, well, so be it. Is that it? That's right. It's, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's a great question. Have a sandwich and let's go shopping. Think about the doctor's findings and testimony. Log on to cmnews13.com uh, slash chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Chad yeah, yeah. Sue. We'll try to answer your questions. Let's we'll do the next one. Uh, I'm sorry, is there someone talking to you? Yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. So I just was wondering they how just everyone's came doing. In. You know, stranger than fiction is, um... Hello, Twitter Courtney, have, you, have we lost you? And, you know, who knows? But she's just spacing out, that's mm -hmm. for sure. All right, it looks like uh, Courtney yes, doesn't really want to. All right, yeah. Illuminati songs reverse. So All right, right, guys, here we go. These are the subliminal. <laughs> Pay attention, this is the subliminal messages in, in pop songs and, and things like that. That, um,. Not all of them, but it's a fun one that they picked out in this bit. Uh, Tanyati says, Chris says, I always hate it when people make jokes about Mary's bald face. Like, oops, I went full Britney. Carly says, same. I've actually shaved my head and people always make uh, that joke to me. Christina said, Christina said, I heard she did it to pass a drug test so she can see her kid. Sean Max says, Zed's dead, baby. Here we go. I will play the parts of the hit song, Baby. First I'll play the sound clip, regular, and then after you will hear, reverse. This shit had me rolling so down, hard earlier. Down, down. And I just Here we go. Can't believe my first love won't be around and I'm not... <laughs> Soon, bro, the new world order. for the dude, bro. <laughs> Pretty compelling stuff, huh? I love that song. This is not. Is <laughs> <laughs> young leader of Illuminati New World. <laughs> hey man, can you I can't 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 <laughs> Oh, oh my God. God. Wow. Hey, 
Hey guys, they're just getting us ready for takeover. <laughs> Does that sound like a fake? <laughs> Let's try it. Let's try to make a song about the Helsinki. So I'm getting rid of this that hello words sound like Satan. Oh, we're gonna see you. 
What? Yeah. He, he was like, okay, I wouldn't yeah. even fade that one out. It's so bad. That was it. Alright, let's take a break from all those now. <laughs> that was awesome, though. Yeah, that was really, really fucking funny. That was funny. Um, so Tori says, I think sometimes it's not even the words, though, that make it sane. It's the pronunciation. Yeah. No, it's not. They're not. Yeah. It's all bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, is Satan, please tell, take me to hell immediately. Well, except the, the, the Jay-Z one, he obviously just re- it was <laughs> saying, murder, murder, Jesus. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yeah, he did that on purpose. Like, obviously. Uh, that's all the videos I had anyway, so. so there you go. Uh, Human says, Weird Al did that, that's... Weird Al did one that said Satan eats cheese whiz or something on purpose. Yeah, we should just make, we should um, do that. What? Listen to songs backwards and just make up the the subliminal message. Weird Al's on the level. I wonder what his deal is. He's Satan. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> I'm gonna defeat Jesus now. Everyone is son of orgasm, Brittany. Yeah, true. <laughs> So, George, I think sometimes it's not even the words. Yeah, uh, if Brittany is Satan, please take me to hell immediately. Christina says, yes, please. Yes, same. He was weird. I'll do one of those. He needs cheese with or something on purpose. So, that was fucking hilarious. Listen to number nine backwards. Number nine? Yeah. The Beatles? You want a piece of me. Yeah, they did. You know? They did that on there. And that's Satan. that's how uh, that's how they control our minds, getting us ready for this, this huge sacrifice that the Illuminati has to make to Father Satan. In the upcoming wars. It's 11.26. <clears throat> I say if we don't get another donation by 11.30, we'll cut it. Oh, there you go. We um, That was the presentation. We got four minutes. Four minutes for somebody to send in a donation. Uh, or we're going to cut the stream half an hour early than usual. Uh, how, how are you guys doing? We're doing great. Just sitting here and packing another bowl. <laughs> Fuck it. <clears throat> Abby Cohen says, "Yo, dudes, when's the next memory show? I missed the last two, and I was bummed." Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. You know those uh, South by Southwest? Are you going through the South by Southwest Music Film and Interactive Festival in Austin next week? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be at the music part of it. The music part of it. We're not going to be attending this year's video expo. Or the interactive. Abby says, I am not. Cumin says uh, that Jim Kidder pay to play tape B side plays backwards too. All sorts of weird stuff to be heard there. Available on our tape's website. I think. Maybe not available anymore. Play the, I dare you guys to make videos of our tapes backwards. See what you find. Yes. Maybe, there's a, maybe there's some subtext to all this. You guys mm-hmm. should be looking into what is Nartapes all about. Maybe those guys are right. Maybe we are shills. Uh, we're going to be driving to South by Southwest. We have a couple of shows on the way there and on the way back. We will booking some technically still. We have uh, a San Antonio before South by and a, ta- and a Taos, actually technically a Royal Seco in New Mexico. Oh, huh, interesting. Um, but an uh, Esther uh, rent, uh, rented a Airbnb house to for us to hang out in. And crash cool. In. So we'll have a place to crash, a shower. And... We'll do some mushrooms, maybe, or something crazy yeah. in Taos. Taos. Taos are going. <coughs> Taos are going. How is it going? Taos are going. You want? You want to smoke some pot? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're going to do a tiny tour type thing, yep. Oh, we made a little sale. Oh, god damn it. They did it again. There you go. What time? Or how much? Four fifty. so I'll give us another 15 minutes. What is that for? I wonder. Or I'll give it, actually, I'll give it another uh, five minutes. How about that? Because That's it's for hottest girls. Hottest girls in town? Yeah. All right, got that guitar. 
Give him another five minutes for that. So we'll go to the 11.35. Chikology says, our camera says, please play a show in Dallas or Denton in Texas. I'll bring you guys booze and weed if you do. Uh, Chikology says, even if y'all are the shills, I like the music enough not to care. Even if, you, even if y'all are shills? What are shills? Like people who get money from uh, the Jews or, oh. the, or the whatever. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, camera says, please play a show in Denton, Dallas or Denton. Yeah, I'll try. I like playing out there. It's kind of a little out of the way, but. Maybe we can get something good. Cody says, Narchapes is programming the youth to smoke dope and turn gay and destroy the nuclear family. Yes! Yeah. Abby says, also, Same. yo, my friend ordered some stuff from our website and we live in OC and she was wondering when it might come. Oh, well, oh, well, says human. I just dropped some shit off today. Yeah, uh, message, uh, me, email me, nartapes at gmail.com and I'll figure it out, make sure we got it sent. Alright, so. So tell me, friend, have you seen them? Other girls want to be them. Maybe tonight you might find. You got it? Come <laughs> on. I'm like still in the Hold on. Um. What they say, hot girls live in LA, and yeah, they will always stay here in LA. So tell me, friend, have you seen them? Other girls wanna be them. Maybe tonight you might find the hottest girls in town. The hottest. So tell me, friend, have you seen them? Other girls wanna be them. Maybe tonight you might find. Up, don't you know how the girls live in Toronto? <laughs> Hell yeah, thank you, uh, Sartoris. All right, so we got three minutes left, unless we make another sale. <clears throat> there you go, there you go. What? Carly, yes, our taste is program that you have to smoke dope and turn gay and to destroy the nuclear family. <laughs> I just didn't see it, that's funny. That's tight, though. It is what we're doing. You call this out. Where's New World Order? Enthusiasts? We're taking off. the term? <sighs> We're taking apart the nuclear family. Oh, we made a sale. Made a sale. Hell yeah. What is that one? I says, yo, Canada's a shit. My best friend's from Nova Scotia. Jordan's also in Dallas. Very cool. It was, um... 866. Yeah. Memories in La La Land cassette. Nice. Very cool. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So we'll stay on for... Abby says, uh, yo, Canada's the shit. My best friend's from Nova Scotia. Love that joint, says Arcturus. Carly G says, hell yeah, Carly I've never been there before. And then Cameron says, bought a tape to keep it going. Nice. We're going to do, uh, then we'll take it to, that'll be eight more minutes. So we'll go to 11.48. Right? 
35. No, 35 and then. So 1143. 1143 now. So. Yeah. Um. It says nuclear family is toast. Remake says yellow. White dad. Yeah. He even says, <laughs> what did you grip, Cam? Uh, he got the Memories in La La Land pre order, which is going to be coming really soon. Hopefully, real soon. Yeah. Uh, he even says Randall. Uh, you know, he's Randy yeah. Baked. Uh, uh, Remake said that's literally how my, how he answers the phone. <laughs> Macaulay says, "Do Randy say that?" Cameron says, "Memories and Lala." I mean, says she said it's pretty cool, but it's super small, sick music scene though. So George says, "Eleven forty-three, LOL." Sam Freeman says, "Nice." Macaulay says, "That's how I answer the phone." Ironically, Macaulay says, "JK, don't answer the phone." <laughs> I say, uh, "This is Chris." Or thank you for calling our tapes. This is Chris. Uh, oh, this is Big Rick. So, oh, I'm like, what up, gangsta? <laughs> doody, doody, how's your booty? <clears throat> it's not tight. Oh, yeah. Phones. You think they're controlling our minds with that? <coughs> Radio yeah. frequencies in our brains and shit? Yeah, man. And in our nuts. <coughs> this is really nice weed. It was good. It hits nice. I like it. It's good. It's a very good. It's a very good. All right. They got so much crazy nonsense going on in this world. It's easy to get confused. Cameron says Denton has a great music scene. There are at least, uh, there are like at least two house shows every weekend. Damn, sick. Like, that's sick. I'm jealous. Beer Bakes says, "Oh, my favorite thing to do is answer and not say anything and wait for the other person to say hello, then I then say hi." Hi. That's pretty funny. Uh, and Sam says, which strain? Uh, this is... Uh, some kind of OG. I forget the name. I think it was some kind of something... Fire or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, the jar's in the store. I put it in this airtight jar for, for maximum freshness. Maximum freshness. Uh, the card used the same. Uh, Wheelie says, really nice weed. That's all I need. Yeah, same. That's why I live in L.A., pretty much. The main reason besides uh, access to uh, a whole world um, and many worlds, um, it's that I can smoke really, 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 really good weed legally here. And before that, it was already pretty much legal, so. Here it says, maximum freshness. Yep. I love, I love the maximum fresh. You gotta keep it nice and fresh. That's my son's name, Max Fresh. <laughs> Love you too, Jesse. He's really cool. Love you, buddy. Oh, what's up, Jesse? Just, just, just. Hard my reach. Yeah, we ate all these Doritos, huh? You got me one too, my mouth. Yeah, yeah, we're going to save this other bag for tomorrow. I want yeah, to make, I want to make though, nachos though. with them. Hell yeah. Ground beef and sour cream, like, gra like grated cheese, like, movie nachos. I think Doritos Pollo Loco is pretty sick sounding too. Yeah. <laughs> think about that. Like, was this like flour, eggs, no. crushed up Doritos, yeah. Yeah, extra d Dorito <laughs> dust? They sell that. That's Doritos Pollo Loco. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Damn. So I just says, can you guys sing the chorus of that song again when you go off the air? Maybe we'll see. Uh, when we go got, off uh, the air? Six more minutes left. <laughs> you mean, so you want us to play it when we're done with the show? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll do it just for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, just, you just listen real carefully. <laughs> You'll know in your heart that we've done it. You can trust us. Gavin says, tomorrow I'm making tiny sloppy joes on garlic bread. What? That's that tight. tight. I want that. Mm, I love nice. sloppy joes. I make bomb sloppy joes. What makes it Italian sloppy joes? The hand gestures. <laughs> you stone, dude? Is it like extra big meatballs in the in the manwich? Well, it's just their own garlic bread. I see. At least that makes it Italian. <laughs> Carl uses Donald Trump snorts Illuminati Doritos. Sardor says, like the outro to the show, I mean. Jeremy does his craziest weed straight up encounter was just named Cat Piss. Had that, I feel like. 
Who he says, hey, have you heard what they say? There's hot girls in Canada, eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you heard what they say? Hot girls in Canada, eh? Oh, fuck, I cannot. So says, you're gonna make them nice and sloppy. <laughs> I know how you kids like them. Extra sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Chase! You're scaring us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Try joke. Like this one. <coughs> Damn. Backwards guitar mount man. I'm the backwards guitar man. Jazz says he can play back as fast as you can. Just W said, I'm burning some sage and cedar because I'm freaked out tonight. Bree says, bet you weren't ready for a yo mom joke. She's like, your mom. <laughs> New world order soon, bro. Sartar says, sounds Indian. Cameron says, a lot of handshaking and more, and like more tomatoey and a lot of garlic. See? So you're probably going to use marinara instead of ketchup. You use ketchup or stop. Wow. So he says, backwards man to backwards me. Backwards man, yes. He can play it back as fast as you can. He can play it back as fast as you can. He's a backward man, a backward man, backward man, a backward man. He can play it back as fast as you can. He can play it back as fast as you can. Join me, bro. Do you slice the garlic with a razor blade like a Goodfellas? Like it's on Netflix, like everybody's seeing it again. Yeah, watching that. I watched it like ten times already since I've been on Netflix. At least ten times. I leave it on at night and hear to scare the ghost away. Can I smoke Bud Light? No. That sounds like... If I could even get to work, that it would probably make me choke and die. Like, I don't want to do that. Netflix, more like net domestic profits. Mm. Am I right? You're cold, huh? You're a cold dog. You're all shaky. Yeah, I'm a cold motherfucker. Yeah, I'm just cold blooded. Bit the dog, bit the dog, bit the dog, dog. Bit the dog, bit the dog, bit the dog, dog. Bit the dog. I'm a cold blooded badass. Oh, we got two minutes left. Blood light is for injection only. We got two minutes left, and then we're gonna bust on out of here. Brie Bake says Canadian Netflix sucks. That's funny because a lot of American Netflix is Canadian shows. Get a VPN. Set your shit up in an American server. Maybe try out uh, France or or Russia. See what kind of fun you can have. Uh, Cameron says, "How do you guys feel about Pabst Blue Ribbon and Lone Star Beer?" Uh, I think they're pretty similar. Yeah. I like Lone Star Light. Yeah, I like Lone Star Light. It's dang. I like VR Light, too. It's really good. I changed my IP address to an American one, and it worked for only so long. I had to do another one. Here's this Japanese Netflix I hear is dope. Yeah, I oh, bet. Oh, man. How do you get a log into that? How do you get a log into that? Scratching the book. Human says they got Adult the Swim and shit. <clears throat> that's oh, sick. Oh, that's on Hulu, though. Uh, who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Who let the dogs out? But also, Adult Swim's website has Adult Swim stuff, kind of. I'm really yeah, right? pumped that Hulu has Dragon Ball. We're watching Dragon Ball right now, and I'm just so happy about that. I just do one episode, one or two episodes tops at a time, so I don't. I'm not trying to binge it too much. I want to like let it like go for a while. Yeah. And it's also a lot to take in. It is a lot. I actually even watched rewatched the first four episodes, and I was like, okay, I'm glad I did that because I still yeah. missed a lot of shit. Says, How would you read all the movie descriptions? Yeah, in Japanese, it'd be hard. Oh, uh, that doesn't matter. Yeah, you just click. Streaming's a thing, too, so... He even says, yeah, I watch it on Adult Swim. Shit site usually got that parent's cable password. I said, what do you all like think is clearly most mind-controlled? Who do you all think is the clearly most mind-controlled person? It's you, bro. It's you, Check bro. yourself. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. Everyone. Um, good Everyone. question. Good question. Um, I'm, it's probably, like, not a celebrity. It's, like, these crazy, like, the warrior. Like, the warrior. Uh, the secret cell warriors. Probably some, shit. yeah, probably some military guy somewhere. <clears throat> That can like they hear like fudge fudge brownie sickle and they they unleash hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. they unleash hell. Cody G says Trump. Uh, Cameron says I'm probably gonna go to adultsim.com and watch their streams after this. Hell yeah. Brubeck says Betty White. 
And he says, from the VODs we saw tonight, Al Roker for the fans we saw. Koji says, Eddie Vedder. Trevor Thompson, Alex Jones. I think, uh, yeah, Al Roker looked pretty fucked. Uh, everybody says, Betty White's actually a fembot. Betty White's old. She survived. Thank you for being a friend. Well, it looks like we've reached the uh, point. We're even a minute over. We're, we're like basically cutting the stream like 15 minutes early. It's been a great show. We did uh, wonderful time for you guys. Uh, <coughs> it's good. That's good that we we got 46, 42 out of 100. That's good. Um, we didn't bring our goal, which means nobody gets a free song service. Um, that's okay, but it's good because I do want to start bringing up these donations more. I want to give you guys more incentives, you know, and also but at the same time, you know, hey. Thanks. Thank you. And also, just remember that like, this does, this is, you're, you're, you're supporting the NAR, man, which is a real thing. Uh, but thank you guys for the show, human. Uh, thank you. Cody just says, like the fan boss and awesome powers. Cool. Because uh, I love Tuesdays. Yeah, they're fun. Karen says, good night, Ricky. Eyes back and fuck. Well, good night. Cameron Jordan says, I think the bunny from earlier might be Alex Jones' alter ego. Three <laughs> <laughs> big quitter job today. Congratulations, man. S fucking say goodbye. Jesse Mathis says, support your local NAR. Hell yeah, dude. You did. We still, we still got that fat slab. Uh, almost done. The slab's almost gone. Good catch. Slab's almost gone. That's it. Still a good amount. <laughs> uh... And start my new one in two weeks. Nice. You had six and a half years of that job. That's crazy. And uh, yeah, don't forget Hard Cox, uh, Bouncing Boobies, uh, Hail Satan, um, Nartif Network. Bye 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 yeah. NartiFs.com. Oh, Jesse's almost back. He says it's the perfect timing. Nice. Another slab. Bye.